so yeah we can get started now mm. awesome so yeah so what we were saying uh, we wanted to last week we for those of you who weren't here last week um we are used usually we divided this this like we'll divide create a grid with fract but we were playing around doing it with mod modulo and there's another function that you wanted to try now um yes. uh, so what was the other one well we wanted to do that again basically i mean i had my brain took a second to understand what was happening <laughs> mm, uh, mine so too I'm happy to review and we wanted to play with noise again maybe using it yeah, in a bit of a different way, because what we what we made last week, we made with noise, but it's funny because we actually made something that we could make without noise, with noise. But that makes sense, because it was just we we're playing around with it. Mm. Um, maybe yeah. we can do random and then actual noise. I found a good noise function, a quick and easy one to... Yeah, let's do that. Let me just go through the grid thing with mod yeah. and frag. This is the thing that, because last time I think we... We kind of explain it, but I, I felt like a little bit unsure because I've forgotten. <laughs> I forget. Yeah, totally. so fast. I learned it like in November and then I forgot with uh, Bruno. And uh, now this week I was revisiting it just to because I don't like when I uh, it's funny that sometimes we know stuff Mario's here. automatically. <laughs> I, oh, Mario's hello, already. Mario. <laughs> Another coming in from the other Yay. side. Yay. Ah. Thanks for waking up, by the way, because Mexico, it's early as well. Um, yeah, Mario, you can be moderator. He, he yes, he is the <laughs> honorary, con always mon moderator. Yeah, whenever he's the moderator. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention too that um, Amber has a a blog. You should put the link of your website, Amber, because I I enjoy reading you. By the way, Ooh, um, if I don't say, I would love uh, to see that Amber. Uh, Again, uh, I like it. Looking for actual good things to read. So yeah, much bad to read on I the like internet. her style. So <laughs> she talks about. Uh, uh, front and stuff and but sometimes I, I I've read I don't know anymore but uh like before sometimes you you write about books that you read and I don't know it's it's just interesting it's one of those personal blogs that um, oh, I, like that. I really I like enjoy that. reading personal blogs instead of yeah. going to um medium or so on that I know it's me with <laughs> a thousand ads <laughs> so I really yeah. enjoy when people is writing uh, in their blogs I, I miss old medium. Medium turned into something yes, different. Yes, yes, I, I still agree. Put it there because, I mean, when I write, I put, put my stuff there, but I always put it on my blog first, so it's it's mine mm -hmm. before it's theirs. Mm. Um, but yeah, five fifty. Wait, where are you from again, Chris? Trust codes. Oh, he's in the U.S. somewhere, so it's yeah. barely oh, too. Oh, like on the East Coast. True. Yeah, you're you're East Coast. Um, but Amber, yes, please do post your. Don't be shy. Post your post your blog, or Alethea, you can send it to me later. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can. Amber if she Wilson doesn't post it. Co. UK. Amber Wilson. I'm just gonna save it now because we're here. Co. UK. Okay. Excited. Cool. See, whenever I see this kind of thing, I'm always like, oh, I kind of miss writing. I miss blogging. I did that for a while. Yeah, and actually Amber, um, I don't know if Amber remembers, but I met her in 2019 in the, uh, what is it called again, in the JS Conf uh, in Berlin. Oh, is that the one where you did your, you had your wallpaper? Yeah, yeah, where I had my installation. So I met her in this event um, at some point, I think. So. Okay, so what are you doing? You're setting up the color. Yeah, I was just you parsing a color first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can explain it to the y them. position of the UVs across the color spectrum. Mm -hmm. Nice. So for the new people that it's <clears throat> tuning today and maybe you haven't done shaders a lot, uh, usually we, ha we first de define our UV <clears throat> because we're going to work, as you see, only with the fragment uh, shader, which uh, uh, manipulates the pixels, the colors on the screen. And and the UV parses the color with the the resolution as you see there of the screen and this uh, GL frag cord which um, is a GLSL uh, what would you call it um, variable? It's like a yeah, it's like a, a variable that's given to you by the this library. Is it a library? I don't think it's a library. It's with a language. the with the coordinates of x and y from yeah. your screen 
um, together. And then in order to to parse the whatever you're doing in, in your fragment shader, um, you have to use this GL frag color at the very bottom of um, <coughs> or main function. And then usually you have a vector four that G GL frag chord is the position that you're getting from the vertex, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's what you're sending out. From the vertex? You mm -hmm. need ah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, that's because why we're we... only working in the fragment shader, the vertex is literally like two triangles on the screen right now, instead mm -hmm. of being like a million triangles on a 3D mesh. And this is why so. as well it's kind of flat, like it's just the yeah. colors and nothing is happening, because if we were to tweak the vertex um, shader, then we could tweak those triangles and make more like shapes yeah. in there. And we'll get there eventually. That's what that that yeah. was the link that I sent you with my bubble that moves. That was that was basically it. Yeah, became, I remember. It was like a three D primitive in three JS, and I applied noise, mm -hmm. like four dimensional weird four dimensional noise on the on a sphere. Mm -hmm. um, okay, cool. So we have the color plotted, and now we can try to divide up with modula. So how does modula work? Modula. First First, oh, I, will, I will do it with frag because it's yeah. easier and the model, okay. uh, it feels like it's when it became a little bit complex, at least in my head. <laughs> so we can say, for example, float and we can frag the X first. And then we would do like frag UVX and let's say uh, just five. And then I'm going to replace here um, the first uh, vector um, of the color with this variable, the fract x. And then we're going to split the screen um, on the x axis. On the x axis. And I wanted to show as well something about this little UV hack that we use in comparison. Because right now on the screen, actually, you can see that there's like if I move, there's more than five blocks. It's It seems that it's infinite. And this is because of the little hack that we use. But if we were to define the UV <coughs> in the way that it's defined uh, in Book of Shaders and in a, a lot of tutorials, so just the GLFrag court, uh, you divide that with the resolution, then you see always five. And if I resize, um, you can still see five blocks in your screen, but they are distorted. Like it's not the same size as your resize. And I'm going to stay in this one so that we can visualize uh, better um, because the other hack that we use normally um, helps you to maintain the aspect radio. And ratio. Then, ratio, yeah, that. <laughs> no, 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 do, <laughs> do it. And then when you resize the screen, um, you get like infinite, uh, it kind of mirrors uh, what you have. So you will not yeah, have like only five, but you will have 15, depending on how big it is. So yeah, um, that, but that's everything what the stays is. to scale, which is nice. Yeah, exactly. That's why we like the hack, just so yeah. that whatever we do is like it, you can resize or open it anywhere and it's going to look good and not a little bit distorted. But but for now, to explain the grid thing, I think it's easier just to keep it um, with yeah, the Yeah, definitely. Well, because this way we see exactly how many mm -hmm. you're using. And so Perfect. I'm going to make another function that I'm going to call it mod x and then use mode instead, modulo. <clears throat> and then we're going to have the juvie again. We're going to split it five times. And yeah, so... Then Fract is quite straightforward, right? You're, you're fractioning out of space. Modulo is a bit different. You're taking a number and dividing into it, and the remainder, you, you end up with a remainder or not. So you're dividing the space up differently. And this is the part where I wanted to explain it the way that I think the last time you were asking me if modulo works the same as JavaScript, and I told you I think so, but I wasn't really sure. 
yeah. and now I'm really sure because I was like practicing <laughs> again and then checking in and it, and does, it does work exactly like JavaScript. So for example, if I were to pull right now here the console on the screen that everybody's uh, looking like the javascript console just to compare i can just try to do five times one which would be like in javascript way and then you get zero which is basically what's happening with or shader here function that we're uh, the first uh, value it's basically this first value in JavaScript. And then the second one is um, <coughs> the second value that you have in the modulo. So uh, the way you're dividing it by. Exactly. So then because we have one, the, the result is zero. And that means that we do get a grid with five blocks, as you see. So because if I were to have in the second value like 1.2, then we don't long we no longer have like this grid. With yeah, it's five, like but then exactly. Bit. So, for a long time, I would get confused by modulo only because, like, I understood the concept, but I kept being like, "Oh yeah, so like five modulo two, two goes into five twice," and I thought that the answer should be two, but no, we don't care how many times it goes into it. We care if there's like anything left over. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that's why it took me a minute to like understand the number of things on the screen last week versus in my head what I was calculating out. But yeah. So if you do, um, yeah, same. If you did five, it would also be uneven, I think. Yeah, you can try that. Actually, you can change that and, and then see. Um, I'm going to mention something that Mim Mimetic is saying in the chat, which is true, okay. that uh, to to tell like beginners that cool. each fragment <coughs> each fragment does not have any information about any other fragment, and the code executes fragment by fragment. It's mm. true, because in case you're using like more fragment shaders in here, in this piece. Oh. Yeah, sorry, I'm just having fun dividing up the screen. Yeah, there's yeah, do it. There's an amazing resource. There's this guy that wrote out an amazing explanation of like all of this and like the, the like inner workings of shaders. I wish I could remember. If I do remember it between now and when we send out the newsletter of the replay, um, I'll include the link. It's so good. He like goes into all of the weird what's happening in the background in your computer and stuff and explains all of this so so well. Um, who is? But here's the setup they're using to make the shader for anyone that's curious. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Oh, we forgot yeah, to mention that. Thank you, Mario. Mario. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank we, you so we, much. We include that info in our in our. I think it's in the comments of our CodePen project. No, but it's good that Mario mentioned it because it could be new people is today. Um, on the chat, True. which wasn't any of the other three. Yeah, times. we do. We do usually go over that at the beginning. Yeah, um, that's good. Thank, thank, you, thank you. Thank you so much for helping. I love your Bob Ross emoji. He's my favorite. Bob Ross's yeah. life. I think those emojis uh, in in Twitch are cool. Anyway, like the cat with the glasses. It's really <laughs> <laughs> fun. <laughs> They're just also perfect. They're perfectly the internet. Yeah. Um, okay. How how many grids do we want to make a Y grid? Um, well, before we, uh, let me just one more like little hack since we're yeah. uh, revisiting today and then um, another day is going to be easier. So I'm going to go to Fract for a second <clears throat> because I feel it's less code <laughs> to me <laughs> than mode. Um, and I just wanted to show like uh, people like, for example, if they are like doing not a kind of a grade, I guess. Um, and if they wanted to tilt the lines, <clears throat> oh yeah, if you would like to to not have the vertical nor the horizontal, that you will only need to change the axis. In order to do that, then you can simply um, add the UV, and I'm gonna add it like the opposite UV, mm. and I feel Was like five on the other side, no. Yeah, the yeah. number should be outside, and then it's going to be more tilted. I don't outside. think you need brackets. Brackets? Because multiplication comes before subtraction, no in bed, bed mass or whatever. Uh, but I don't know, but brackets? I put it because now you do you see the lines that are more like completely like. Um, Does it not? Wait, can I delete these for a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Do it. Because I think in the like. <clears throat> oh yeah, you're right. That's so crazy. I wonder why. Maybe um, because it's really GLSL. Because because the rule that you're saying, I think it applies to JavaScript. It's true, but like a universal code but thing. I'm not sure that it applies to GLSL. So and GLSL, you know, it's a little bit weird with this like little things. <laughs> I would say yeah. that sometimes you you don't do it, and then it's like. Uh, yeah. I mean, the off. slant is still there. I guess it just is more. It's, it yeah, yeah. Because if you delete now. it, if you if you delete the the this what is it called brackets or parentheses in English? Paren so. Yeah, brackets. Both both work. Yeah, you have yeah. the tilted lines, but they are not perfectly like completely. Yeah. Well, like, it's like less at an angle. It's like a lazy slant. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But if you, uh, I guess it was good to to do that to explore like depending on what you want to achieve. Maybe you want that effect. So. And then another trick that I like, I wanted to show is like, what if uh, we want waves, right? So yeah. So instead add of like some, sine, some sine and cosine in there. No? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So just add in the first one, we can do it. And this is another thing that as well, I discovered as I was like playing with it. So if you have sinus and you have the brackets and you put everything against five, it was just that like, as well kind of lazy wave i would say it's very like not as prominent yeah but if you put it like the number that you want to break into Inside. the waves mm -hmm. then you have them more prominent oh and then if you want like really prominent waves you need uh maybe here uh, well so well five and once you have the same number, then you have mm -hmm. really like the waves going on. Um, well, wouldn't that be the same for for noise then? What I was talking to you about earlier, Penny? Um, what? Like timesing the UV dot X times noise instead yeah, of could in be. a sign. We should totally try that after. Yeah, we that. yeah, we, we should. We should. Okay. So, so anyway, I, want, well, I just wanted I to, to, to show it's people this. These little tricks, because if you're getting started with shaders and you want to play around, like I think knowing these basics, then you you can come up with like ideas to do stuff. And and if you want to twist like the waves, just change it to a co cosine and then it's like the opposite. Bye to trust codes. Thank you for tuning in. Enjoy your morning. There'll be a replay if you want to watch the rest of it. It'll probably be up like tomorrow. I think you're in Berlin and I, yeah, hopefully it's nice over there. Anyway, sorry. He was just signing off. So I thought I'd Ah, yeah, yeah. I ah, know he's in the US. Goodbye. Is he the one in Texas? Yeah. Oh. No, or te no. I, I don't remember, but he's in the US somewhere. I'm not sure no, if Texas. No, Texas is your buddy. Yeah, but he's in the US somewhere. Oh, is he? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. My bad, my not bad, in my Berlin. Bad. Berlin is Amber. Mm, like Mimetic. Okay. And Alex is like... Yeah. Okay. Wow, well, he's, he starts you. early his day. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I, wow, I wish I would be an early bird. <laughs> uh, it's not so bad. Once, honestly, I've been doing it for 27 days. Are it's, you still on it? Yeah. Oh, and wow. I, and I added a half an hour, so now I get up at 6 30. Oh my God, I'm so proud of you. Wow. You. Cool. It, no, it, it almost feels natural. I mean, I didn't get up at 6 30 today. I give okay. myself a Sunday and Saturday to like. I woke up at eight instead. So so by luxury. the way, what time do you go to bed? Do you go early, I guess, because you wake up six thirty nowadays, or um, do you no, sleep? No, I wake up like twelve thirty. Oh, so you don't sleep long. much actually. So mm. no, but then I do this. <laughs> ah, you you do napping? I do. Yeah, I do. I have a, a yoga nidra practice. So <laughs> um, I don't know if you know yoga nidra. No, like what is this bit, nidra? I don't know that it's, one. It's awesome. So it's like 30, 35 minutes of someone like talking to you through, um, I guess, like a body scan and you close your eyes and your body feels like it's slept for three hours, but you've only been lying down for 30 minutes. And so your brain gets to chill out. Um, you're like, your consciousness gets to go to sleep, but there's like this other conscious layer of you that's like kind of awake. And no matter what, as soon as the person says the yoga nidra is now complete, you wake up. You never are gonna fall asleep okay. for hours. I used to do it when I had jet lag coming back from, because when you go to go to the states, it's fine. But when you come back to Europe from the 
North America, like the U.S. or Canada. It's really brutal, and I used to do that when I was still working in the office. And it was so helpful. So now I just do that around like, I don't know, whenever I have a dip. If I have an energetic dip, I do a nidra. <laughs> okay, okay. That sounds good. I've never heard of that kind of yoga, but I think, I don't know how many yogas are they out there. Um, there's a lot of yogas. There's like eight limbs of yoga, and then there's like a lot of different types of yoga. So oh yoga doesn't God. have to be moving. Yeah. That's, that's just vinyasa and hatha. But then there's like... Okay. I've tried the one with breathing. I always forget the name. Um, Pranayama. Mm. No, no, no. It's uh, They call it different in here. What was oh, it? Oh, Kundalini? Called? Yeah. Kundalini. You sing kundalini and you breathe. It was, yeah. You used to sing like at the end of it, like the sun song. Mm -hmm. And it was like a long session, like 90 minutes. And it's a lot of breathing the whole 90 minutes, like a lot more than other yogas that I've done. So, but... Uh, But yeah, you feel so good after now. Yeah, I don't know. I was My head say. always feels so clear. Mm -hmm. I love I love Kundalini, but then recently a lot of the community got called out in the states. Anyways, there's this Instagram account called Rama Wrong, and it's scandalous. And I was like, oh my god. So I've but also it's not fun to practice that by yourself. I find I really like to do that when I'm in person. With yeah, people. I think so. I mean, when I tried it, it was like way before the pandemic, of course, and yeah. it was in a studio with people and especially yeah. the singing. I think it would be weird on your own. It's more yeah. like, and I remember the, the what's it called, the instructor or the teacher, the yoga teacher, she would always at the end of the whole like singing and session 90 minutes, she would ask each of the person in the room, like, how are you? And wow. if you would say like, okay, or 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 fine or or not fine she would like but why and tell us like kind of you know like it felt like like a, a therapy group because because she would like always insist on to open up and just tell yeah. about how you really are <laughs> mm -hmm. and yeah no there's some yeah sometimes i really like it it really depends for me on the teacher um and also i don't like doing it in french i don't know why the vocabulary mm. of yoga in french is just It doesn't feel the same to me. Um, <laughs> but I have an American friend in Paris who used to teach it, and it was always really fun to do. Um, so, yeah. Cool. Uh, Kundalini. But, yeah, check out check out um, Yoga Nidra. You can find a lot of meditations on uh, YouTube, but also on Insight Timer. I don't know if you know the app. It's like a I free don't know, but I, I will check it out. I mean, mm -hmm. with meditation stuff, I get so sleepy, like... Well, yeah, but see, with the Nidra, that's the whole point, so it's okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, that sounds good. <laughs> and now I know why you, then you you don't need to sleep that long, because then you mm. have this resting thing in the middle of the day, I guess. So. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't always do it. Sometimes I surprise myself, and I'm like, how am I not tired? But it worked. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so, yeah. So just to bounce back to what we were saying before, I before we got on this stream I had been curious to implement noise on like a line or like an outline of a, of a shape and so I think with what you just showed us with um, your fract um, with the cosine mm -hmm. on the x axis mm -hmm. could probably work but I think yeah. you wanted to show us something else now no I think now I'm done I really just wanted to to show the difference between frag and mod that is basically the same And and the the thing that um, not, you cannot only like when you want to split the screen into um, like these fragmentations of um, because it's not a grid, right? When you don't when you only have a line. Yeah, uh, it doesn't count yeah, as a grid. It, it, no, there's a different course. thing to do with a grid. So I don't know how to call it, but let's say it's you, you want columns and rows. I wanted to show mm -hmm. them that, and then I wanted to show them how you can do a wave or tilt those lines if you don't want like a column or a row, but like a tilted line um, uh, and several, um, which I don't know the name, not a grid, but you know, just break the screen into these <laughs> shapes. Yeah, like divide it up. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but yeah now I'm done. So, um, so yeah, now we can try more stuff. Yeah, okay. I just looking at Yeah, no, I need to learn that better before I start talking about it on the internet. Um, cool. So what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Do we want to try and... You can bring the noise that you were talking about, like the oh, noise yeah. function, because we don't have any at the moment. I only left the circle 
function that we created a, a couple of sessions ago in case we need it, but bring in the random. Okay, <clears> so you were this using. is something that I grabbed off of. I, I started playing around with this at the beginning of the week, and I took it from the Book of Shaders because it's my Bible. Um, I'm just going to put it underneath circle, and it's basically two functions. We've got um, the first one at the top is like one-dimensional randomness or whatever, and then we have Perlin-ish, I call it, <laughs> noise underneath. It's not really Perlin noise at all, but it takes the randomness and it uses it, um, and it creates more noise. The mm -hmm. little bit of a twist on randomness. I don't think it's true Perlin because that was a totally different function, but it it works. I mean, it's if if anyone saw the shader that I posted on Instagram last night, it's what I used to play around with the shape movement of the circles. But um, what I was telling Alicia before we got on the call was that in fact I was trying what well, my goal <laughs> was trying was trying to get the outline of the circle to be wiggly Wicked. and wobbly. Mm. But I didn't succeed. But now I think maybe maybe yeah we can try it together. We can try. Okay, so we have a. Do we want to make a circle? Because we already have a circle. Yeah, function. we can put it on. Yeah, sure. Okay. By the way, uh, before, um, where did you get your functions to tell them? Like, maybe to. Oh, book to of shaders. Book of shaders. This is okay. uh, Patricia. Okay. Do you remember which? Oh. Which chapter? Chapter four. Okay. I think. Pretty sure. Maybe I'm gonna four. put chapter the. Four is chapter. The book of shaders. Let I will put it. the Let link. Yeah, I think so. We chapter should... eleven, my bad. Not at all. Chapter four. Chapter, chapter 11. eleven. Is it the one that is called patterns? No, noise. Sorry. Noise. Yeah. Okay. Noise and. I'm gonna show it in the screen then. Yeah. Like in the streaming screen. Here, I think now it changed. There's a little bit of delay, so for anybody who wants to grab it. It's in this part of the chapter. Oh, there's awesome. this Tron photo. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um, cool. So yeah, I was reading through there and I was like, mm, what would be the easiest, simplest way to throw noise into my project and play around with it? Um, and I found this one easy. It was fun too, I thought, to take the randomness from the original shader and uh, function and move it into the noise function. So, oh, and so we also started the project off with this circle function, um, which I think we've gone over it a bunch of times. I don't know if we need to explain it again, um, but... Maybe quickly, because it could be like new people. So. Yeah, so you're just taking, you're getting the, the center point of the screen and you're subtracting um, the X, Y, or the UV position, the UV, yeah, position from that point to kind of create with color, right? Because you put in a position, you get back a color, a um, color change that indicates a circle. But then it, what it really is going to look like is like a gradient that's darker in the middle and lighter on the outside. So the way that we use it usually is with a step function. Mm -hmm. So let's see, float circle equals, um, let's do the gradient version first, just cause. Mm -hmm. Is it called circle df? Circle df uv. Thanks for sharing the links, Mario. Color plus, is it plus equal circle or should I just put circle in the, well, we'll see. You, I think probably you need to multiply it if you wanted to put it over. Multiplication is, do you want to layer it or? Oh, you're, okay. My then, bad. then it's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're good. Make color black for a second. Um, you have a dash. Did I break it? Yeah, you have a. Oh yeah, there's a slash. My bad. Sorry. A dash. <laughs> I'm getting really good at finding. Yeah, so this is what I was saying. So you basically, based on the position of every pixel moving out from the center, you're subtracting um, 0 0.5, and you're getting uh, a change in the tone of white to black. So if I were to wrap this in a step function, which checks the position against a specific point, which we're going to say, I think. 0. 0.5 five. is good, I guess. And you're going to get big. a circle oh. that's huge. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, 
Um, yeah, that's better. Cool. And let me grab, how did I do this? Where's my stroke function? Do we want to do it as a circle? Yeah, let's just do it as a regular circle to start. I feel like that's probably the We can do an outline like you did, so you, because we have never shown them how to do that. Okay, I can show you. I have my, my So you my can show us, yes. Stroke function. Also, oh yeah, well, oh darn, I don't have them with me right now. Uh, they're in my bedroom. But this function that I'm gonna paste just below noise, it's called a stroke and it takes in the x position the x uh the size i guess that you want um your shape to be and then you get your width of the outline because what it's going to do is going to take this circle and it's going to make it just the outline of a circle um and this function i got once again from patricio but not from the book of shaders i got this from the pixel spirit deck it's like those tarot cards that i usually have next to me today for some reason left them on my desk but i just wanted to say that um uh patricio restocked his cards so everyone is always asking me if they can order some and you guys can order some Let oh me... yeah yeah mario so told let's... me this week thank you mario and i i order my cards no yeah, finally they sell out notoriously quite quickly and he really doesn't um uh pixel let me try and find yeah this. i was so happy because when i started digging into shaders last year um sadly he no longer was selling those cards they were sold out let me so here yeah. scrapping the link for you guys if you wanna they are so they're so beautiful they're so well made they're so helpful to just into it like to get that whole intuition of the math into your system um they are here and Patricio is just an awesome human being in general. So. Oh, Mario had put the link before you. Oh, no, uh -huh. it's okay. <laughs> You're too quick for me. By um, the way, Mimetic just told us how to do the wobbling thing. So we, we will try that soon, uh, Mimetic. Let's like, wait, let's try and figure it out. And then if we can't yeah, figure it out, we can do it. Exactly. Way. Then we try Mimetics. Um, he's too quick. He's too quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, okay, he's so pretty like, advanced. So, so I appreciate <laughs> that he's like giving us some tips i wanted to see uh i mean you you're applying your stroke thing yeah. but when i was doing bruno's course he showed how to do that in a simpler way than your function so really? i will show you soon yes i'm curious did i it's too big too big oh here it too is thick. i found it it's really thick we don't need it that thick so the this this guy you can see my cursor the 0.25 mm -hmm. here in this function, uh, in the stroke function, is in the position of S. And that's, if you see here, it's implemented in the step function. Like, that's what you're testing again. So if I put, like, 0.5, that's why the circle was huge. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. It's like when right. you were using step, the so first the value. The line is, is this third variable, the W. So width, width, size, and X position. Those are the variables. It took me like a second, and but then I kept using it. And I was like, oh, that's what this means. That's why I'm Wait, telling you the radius. cards are great. Okay. Um, be very small. That's not what I meant to do. No, is it 0.25? Anyway, sorry, you were saying something. No, I was just saying that, yeah, the radius where you are, it is that, like the size. Cool. Cool. Stroke. So then, and this if is different. I were to wrap what you did before, Wait, wait, just stop before okay. you do that. Uh, sorry, I just like to explore like the, oh, the, the, <laughs> you know, when there's two options to do something, which it always oh, yeah. blows oh, my yeah, mind. Yeah. Show me the Bruno hack. <laughs> so me the Bruno. I will show you, uh, by the way, for the ones that I are tuning in, Bruno Simon has a new three years course. You should check it out. You and he has two out. shader chapters. And in one of them, I remember that he was showing us how to do outlines of uh, things. And I went right now and checked in because I wanted to, I don't think he used a function and he didn't. So here it goes. So let's see. So I'm just going to copy paste and then we'll figure out what it is. <laughs> so let's replace circle with strength. And see, wait, hold on. Oh, of course, because we don't have a V. 
you see we have a juvie here and there we go wait but you switched it it's different uh, the color's inverted hold on i'm gonna oh let me take yours okay let's f let's f try to understand what bruno was doing so basically he's using the step function mm -hmm. and then in here is where you can probably i imagine is it the size yes i don't know it's the yeah. thickness the thickness that's of the, thickness. the isn't it yeah yeah that's the thickness and then he has the distance which is another way to create a circle instead of the length remember like that's how i do circles myself like using the distance mm -hmm. function that you have the uv and then you have as well like the the like the position where you want it in the screen because if we put zero then it's gonna move like to the left corner mm -hmm. so this is that and then i assume that this this could be the size actually um i'm gonna try oh, so it's all the same variables we're still playing with the same variables we're just like we're not variables, yeah this is the this is the size right here but the color if i do plus is the color gonna switch the no. color is inverted What's in here that? to invert the color i think it's because of the apps maybe hold on could it be the apps because it's uh no, no the apps was, ma was making the outline Ac okay so he's using apps to create the outline which makes sense because otherwise you only have like a full circle right Wait, how does that and work then even? to make it uh like the opposite colors i think you would just say one point minus that and to, to swap the colors what is the absolute oh, parameter yeah. what does that mean absolute parameter is that like yeah oh like we can go into the glossary what does absolute parameters mean like here is the swapping of the colors it's just with one minus always at the beginning of what you have and then you oh, can that's what absence? It's no ah, no 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 i was just changing the colors with this 1.0 yeah. here but see interestingly i find the function the stroke function more straightforward because i don't need to invert the colors we're using step the same way but instead of using distance you're subtracting step uh from another step function where that's like that takes in the width i mean i don't know i guess it's because we're both used to using the different ones but what does abs do because in the documentation it says it returns the absolute value of x but that doesn't mean anything to me because i don't know what absolute means in math World. I I believe if you see do you see the little graphic and people can correct me if I'm not wrong that absolute is gonna give you um do you see like a positive value I get I get like this yeah so because it's a positive value it will never go like minus something below zero got it I oh. feel that that was abso absolute make and that's why sometimes you use it in order not to go to minus something Abs negative one equals one. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, so usually, for example, I've used apps sometimes, and it does the trick too. Uh, when you have certain colors, for example, I had a grid that it was pink and blue, random, right? But it was m blue. It was the dominant color in that grid. And if it, I wanted pink oh, yeah. to be to be the dominant color, like let's say have more pink of blue, then you use apps. And cool. it's kind of because it's using Ooh. only the positive values of the color. So, yeah. Oh, so that's yeah. so cool. That's okay. I've always wondered what that was. Because when I look at a graph like that, I, I get I get very like, I don't know. I think my brain just gets annoyed because I think of high school math and then it's like, no, I'm not going to let you understand. Yeah. So that makes a lot more sense. Thank you. Um, and that explains the color, yeah. I guess. Well, for me, I always now associate but it took me a second to remember that absolute means like just positives basically yeah. so so not else. normalized because you can go way past one it just makes sure everything is above the line of zero mm. in the number line mm. yeah okay yeah cool so so yeah I, now that's an interesting way to do it i think yeah i'm gonna try I and implement to... that it is it's true that you don't need to have an external function for it it is yeah less because code. it's it is less code than the other one i mean um, and in a way, for example, this distance UV, for example, in here, we could take your circle DF mm -hmm. UV instead, mm -hmm. and it should totally work as well. Why is it broken? Oh, I have an extra 
wreck it, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it ah, should work. You see? So so first the first value is the circle and then this is basically you subtract the, the size of it. So because if we don't have that, um I assume it's gonna be huge. Yeah. No, it's tiny. Ah no, it's tiny. Okay, the opposite. Mm. Ah yeah, because we're using apps and if we remove apps. Let's break it completely so then, then it won't be. Oh, it's still tiny. Oh, that's why. But this because you're using abs that oh, you, to make it bigger, you need to subtract. Yeah. If you, if yeah, you true. Mm -hmm. two, that's why I wanted to break it to understand it. Or whatever, it's going to be even smaller. No, then it grows. No, you have to subtract it for it to grow. Oh, ah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, true. But that makes so much sense. See, this is the type of thing that I see a lot when I'm looking at shader code, and I'm, but it's because I don't, I haven't known what abs meant until now, really. This is awesome. Okay, cool. Um, do we yeah. want to try and make it wobbly? Yeah, now we can try that and you can go back to the circle if you want. Now we show them like these two options, like they could either use the function stroke or they could use like this, this way to create as well, like an outline of a circle. So. I mean, we can. Keep, I'm gonna comment mine out. Just like, why not? We used mod last week, so let's do let's do this this week. For me, circle I color plus equals circle. The strength was just throwing me off, but yeah, I don't know why yeah. that I got the name from there. But so if I wrap this in a sign function and I times it by five, which is what you did before, yeah, okay. Mm. So this is. Hmm? Why does that move it? I guess it's normal that it would move it, but okay. So, so when you made the wiggly lines with mod above, yeah, you times it by five. Mm -hmm. Is that gonna move it, or is it gonna make a grid of circles? <laughs> it's kind what? of making like a grid, and you're not just using mod nor grid. No. Did we use fract at all? No. What is no, no, no. So you're, I am multiplying, hmm, why is it doing that? Well, I guess because you're really like, um, in your circle function, you're splitting, you're multiplying the UV, where is the circle function? Here's the circle Wait, is function. Wait, is it the same if I do it up here? I mean, I assume it would have to be, but I just... I'm, yeah, you can try. I, I'm surprised only because of the way that it will work. Yes, the same, mm -hmm. it's just different colors. That's so weird. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because of the way that the wa the single line that we did reacted, responded to it above. Um, I'm surprised. You can try to use frag now instead and see what happens, but I imagine that then it's going to be different. It's going to be limited. I mean, in the whole screen instead of only four. Um, I would need to implement fact somewhere, wouldn't I? <laughs> in your circle? In my circle? Yeah, instead of the sinus UV. Oh, right. Um, fract X. I mean, maybe it's not going to be a circle because we're... Um, yeah, yeah I, wait, okay. it's a floating number. Oh. And we have to use a vector 2, so probably you need to do big 2 fract X. Oh, right. Because the circle DF takes a vector 2, which normally is the UV, and the fract X was a floating number, yeah. Yeah, but it's okay. not a circle because it's not a UV, so uh, yeah, that idea doesn't work in there. So Okay, but maybe you need to, to add time, but we still have like a grid of circles, which isn't what we were going for. Now it's going to be like, yeah. yeah just moving. It's just like a little dancing pattern. Yeah. Four, four circles. Oh, why is it? Why are there four circles? Um, I like that. I like that one. I'm not sure. So. Look, I'm going to split or code so that it's easier. More clear to see. Yeah. So float. That would be circle. Um, Hello, Major. I think you've come before. I recognize your screen name. 
Welcome. Um, We're trying to make a wobbly circle. So this is done. Okay, so now it's so now we can play with the circle without still reading the other function, like the final circle. <laughs> hmm? um, now now we can play with the circle function floating yeah. number. Um, yeah, I wonder why four and not, uh, I mean, why four in, and not five in here? But also like, why not one? Like, why is it? Because we didn't want to make a grid. We wanted one circle to have its uh, lines. Oh, look, if you change the number, it's kind of like, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and if you remove sign, <gasps> I think it's because you're expanding the UV or making it smaller. Yeah, I think. Right. And the sinus. So then I guess it would have to be like. Because you would have to do frag basically and do five if you want five circles. But are we trying to divide up the grid right now? I thought we were trying to make one circle with a wobbly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. No, I was just like, now that I saw four circles, I was like, but if I want more, I actually would need to frack it. But yeah, <laughs> uh, let's go back to just having one circle. And maybe we need to apply the, the noise in here, you know? Yeah. Um. I'm just confused by the code suddenly. I know it's more clear for you, but now it's ah, confusing okay. for me. Um, because we have a circle function outside, but then you're calling our, uh, and you're, I'm just, yeah, confused. Or just name it. What the code, <laughs> what, what? <laughs> um, okay, wait. I think, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm lost, but go ahead. No, uh, I will explain to you. I just took this. Yeah, and put it in a, a variable. Uh-huh, but maybe just the name of the variable is what's confusing because we had this here. Yeah, I don't know. I guess for, yeah. Oh, I, yeah, but with See? the app, I get yeah. around. And then I just grab the circle df, which is your function. But why did you move it? You prefer... Oh, I moved it because if we code? wanted... Yeah, because if we wanted to expand and try more things in here, like you have this, for example, Oh, right. When yeah, you were, yeah. Sorry. You know? so, absolutely. Yes. So I, I just absolutely. thought like it's it keeps growing and growing and growing. So no, right. I wanted to just instead just having a, a variable. No, but right. I know yeah. that this one is already a circle. And then I was like, how do we call the previous one? <laughs> like circle function? No, you're right. You're right. You're right. Sorry. It just so. took me a second. No, um, it's totally yeah. fine. So, <laughs> But I just what? fear like if it keeps growing and growing, then we're going to be lost. No, you're right. And now, if we want to add the wiggly thing, we know that we are, we stay with the circle, or we go inside apps. You know what I mean? So uh, we can. Yeah. If I add random. Five. Does that not do anything? Shouldn't that add something to the? Even if it is a vector, no, it's a float. A float and a float. Um, I guess. Yeah. Let me see. Is there random? Did I do that wrong? No. Oh, Flood it's X. a it's a floating number. So um, is the circle. No, wait. Yeah, and the yeah. And even if circle df is a vec too, you're just adding it to both of the things. Um, da, 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 da. I don't know why is it broken. What if you use it inside? Yeah, let me try. It's not accepting that one. Can I make a bunch of... So friendly. Maybe it, it needs breaks. something like more dynamic. Could be. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So... And w what happens when you use the noise one? The per... You know, the... The other one? It's gonna... T okay. So if I use noise, it's gonna take... Noise takes uh, a floating point number and just like basically... Imp imp uh, oh my goodness, I'm losing my words. It, it like augments the randomness and makes it more fluid. Uh, yeah, because I see it's the same effect, but the other one was way too like blind, blind in like me. Blind in me. Yeah. But you know why? Did you look at the function? He uses mix in the function. Let's I see, thought was so see, clever. See, mix see, and smooth see. step. 
That's I'm why scrolling back to really see. Okay. Yeah. Ah, but we don't okay, want it okay, to okay. scale. We want it to influence the step. I see. So maybe, would it have to be here? Is it what we're yeah, testing could again? Be. Yeah, yeah. Let's just try. Okay. This is... Oh, that's a nice effect. Like a film, kind of like... It's not so what we want, but it's interesting. <laughs> It's like the it's like a cartoon ending, you know, mm -hmm. when the whole screen goes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, now we can see. Um, oh, I stopped yeah. looking at the chat for a second as well. And that's cool. Marius, Marius is in there chatting away with everybody. Oh, yeah. um, and we got some new uh, someone new, Major. Hello, Major. I, where did we learn to create shaders? Yeah, you started the Bruno Simon course. Yeah, there's two shader chapters. Um, don't worry if you don't understand what we're writing. Just let it all wash over you and eventually things will click. I know that sounds so annoying, but it's true. Mm. <laughs> it's really true. Also, though, do check out the book of shaders, which Mario linked. Um, uh, it's it's a, a really nice way to encounter shaders. Like it's. Just a wonderful explanation and it goes step by step. So if you pair that with Bruno's course and these live streams, if they are helpful, then I think you're going to be, you're going to do good. Oh, also, wait, wait, what? What are we waiting? Elithia, yeah. Not me, her, but yes. <laughs> what? Do you know him? Um, I, 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 don't I don't know. know. Major, do I know you? <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> I think to know you. That one I don't recognize, I'm afraid. So, but hello. So, where are you from, Major? We did the treaty text chapter. Chapter. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, yeah, it's me. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, he knows me because in Bruno's chapter, there's a chapter in Bruno's course Does where. He uh yeah they the exercise is to redo the intro of my website basically like this uh, 3d oh i uh, think i saw people tweeting about that yeah, yeah. exactly yeah that's me <laughs> it's my that's website so, cool. so cool yeah i i thought when bruno asked me that uh, definitely why not like have people redo the intro of my website and have fun with typography and and geometries because that's one of my favorite things to play with 3D, 3G stuff like typography and 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 geometries. I like Mario's that. Mario's also really good at typography. Yeah. I think. Okay, I'm just I'm just doing nothing yeah. to work now, so I'm just plugging random things in, trying to understand. And okay. I was reading the function that Mimetic gave us earlier to he try knows. the way. True, he did give us the ultimate. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm just digesting it with some P in there. And let's let me see. Bring it. Distance in the circle function. Yeah. Okay, I'm game because I don't know what. Do. Yeah, we can just try it and see if we can make it work. In the circle function. Dist. What's dist? That's what oh, I in wanted the to. Function, way up here. Okay. Dist. Dist. Mm. I think. Do you mean dist as in UV or or? No, no. In the circle function, there's like a, a dist variable. Oh, is it? Yeah. I yeah. have to scroll back. Ah, mm. right. Okay. Ah, so you have to put it there. Dist okay. Okay. Plus cos center point dot x times two times. 16 times pi times cosine of center. Wait, yeah. do we have pi? We don't have pi. I have to bring pi here. Oh, um, okay. I will bring it. Keep keep typing. Yeah. And <laughs> dot one times two times 16 mm -hmm. times pi times 0.005. I feel like I should probably not put that as like the actual return value. Dist equals no, no, no. Dist uh, plus equals. So pi is there now. Okay. 
And then we return guest. I must have done something wrong. Uh, you're missing a semicolon here, and I guess ah. because uh, shaders is that. not mm. forgiven. <gasps> Whoa, mimetic! <laughs> wow, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I knew oh, yeah. he will know it because he's That's very so advanced cool. in shaders. Yeah. <sighs> and he's a math whiz, too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, like, cool, cool, wait, cool. Let okay, let, let us digest what he suggested now. So. Yeah. Yeah, let's start here. I took the noise out. Uh, yeah, perfect. Cool. So, uh, so that makes me really happy. Okay. I was just reading if uh, somebody wrote something. So, ah, oh, this is amazing. Cool. Honestly, I wouldn't have come up this quickly right now with this mathematics to do the weekly thing. So, thank you, Mimetic, because I don't think if I would have come up with this, like, math. Well, I never think of going into these functions, like to me, these functions, when I take them and they do like a thing, I never think of, of fucking with them. I usually just use them and then try and play around within the fragment, the main function ah, of okay. the fragment generator. Mm. And, I, and I very rarely venture back into the functions because in my mm. head, they're like little boxes that I've taken from other people. <laughs> but um, it makes sense if you think about it, mm -hmm. to do it in here, the thing that's creating the actual mm. circle. Mm. And because okay. that's what I guess... Yeah, you're getting the distance from that center point. If we want to move... Can you move the cursor, or, or your cursor a little bit? Because it's... Yeah, yeah thank you. Sorry. So now we can read it. So cool, cool, cool. So what did we do here? We added... So the distance equals the length of the center point, right? Mm -hmm. From the... I guess from the middle, the length. What is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Length? Yeah, because it's vec 2.5 minus uv. And then yeah. you're taking that and you're adding a cosine of center point x times a bunch of stuff times cos. So you're doing two. Two times the center. Rhythm cycles. Sorry, two different cycles. Yeah. Cosine twice plus you're timesing it by 0.5, which is, I guess, to make the ripple smaller. Yes. And fatter. Mm -hmm. And hold on, in here I saw that Ooh. you you got oh. a different. Um, that cool. Abstract, and cool. I was gonna. Um, oh, it's like a ripple in the water. That's so yeah. funny. I was gonna change the sixteen here because it was uh, actually a full sixteen, not oh, really? a point. Yeah. So then it's like oh. really wiggly because I was checking the function like to to do it like properly wiggly. This two sixteen here. So I am assuming, for example, if in here we would have have a six instead, then it's no longer proportional, the wi wiggliness. Ooh. Yeah, it's unproportional. That's a fun pattern. So That's so cool. And then he's oh, just so cool. He's just um, pi. And hold I on. I think that's also because of me. So ah, okay. Zeros. So, but yeah. So the, if it's like 0.5, I think it's going to be a pattern. Yeah. My mind is blown. That's super pretty. But let's stick to the wiggles. But I'm and let, let us try as well. Romantic. Let us try to have one here, like where That's the center you... point, instead of like splitting it two times, one time, and see what happens there. I'm just putting a note so that we remember yeah. the 16 is the frequency of the wobble. Yeah. It's a good way of thinking about it. Yeah. Oh, and this is, you know, th the the second number that is kind of like uh, duplicating the center point. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm not duplicating it and it's more soft. Do you see the waves? So is there that like the phase? I don't know how to call it, but it's softer. So right. if I put tree in here, I am assuming it's going to be even more wiggly, like more prominent the wave yeah. yeah cool oh that makes me so happy oh we could turn this into its own function i think yes yes mm, so thank you so much you? mimetic thank you um okay yeah keep typing so 16 was the frequency so like how oh, many okay. frequency and then, and then the number one which no, now I guess it's it's a not phase. this would be like magnitude i don't think i'm using these terms the way I'm yeah, to, I don't know how to call them. 
but it magnitude, makes the wave either like, more spiky or like yeah. more soft. I don't know how to call it. I want to say magnitude because phase is like location of the wave and magnitude is like how big, giant or small or, or whatever. Mm, and so I magnitude mean, works. I think magnitude works. If we juice sinus here, I'm just like curious to see if I juice sinus and cosinus in one. I think we would see a uh, difference if we made it move. If, if there was like time or something, we'd probably see two wiggles working at a different speed. Mm. What if we do um, my favorite? <laughs> I'm going to make it so ugly, I'm sure, but I, I love it. Always. <gasps> oh, oh I love it. It's very abstract as well. Mm. Tan is like the, the most underestimated function, in my opinion. There's always. I've used it sometimes, really not as much, but okay, wait. I need could to like, be fun. save this and come back to it. I'm just going to create another pen because I'm totally experimenting with this in a yeah. week. So cool. Um, okay, we can, we can take the tan off. By the way, you here, I'm going to simplify this. So I'm going to remove yeah. this and do this. So then it's, yeah, we're just adding this this is so That's interesting so why what what if we i'm gonna layer it, it <laughs> and see what happens um instead oh it disappears of course i wonder if i can make um I was going to try and put in its own function, but I don't think my brain can do that right now. Um, do we oh, want to make... Yeah, we can do it. Like the whole... Uh, this? Yeah, like this, because because we see like frequency could be yeah. a variable, magnitude could be a variable. We could make it its own function. Yeah, we can... And how do we call it? Okay. We can... I, I'm um, assuming it's going to be a flow number. Wiggly? Yes, wiggly. Yeah. I love it. Try adding time to both functions. Yeah, soon, soon, what soon. Do you Hold on. L let us move it in a function. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> successfully, make it. hopefully, and then. Uh, I'm gonna. While you do that, I'm just gonna have a snack because I'm hungry. One yeah. Second. No problem. So, and then I'm gonna say close. So, W equals return oh. W. Oh my god, you guys. This is like super random, but I, I didn't realize it and I accidentally bought a blood orange and these are my favorite things ever. Node X. So, okay. Six. Six. I didn't fuck it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not fucking it yet. <laughs> Uh -huh. It looks good. Yeah, it's coming as, along. As, as, a, as a bloody orange. Would you, no, it tastes... Does a blood orange taste the same as a regular orange? It does taste the same. Mm. Um, it's Maybe it's a little sweeter. I don't know. Um, Load. Mac. It's just such a pretty color. My camera does not do it justice. But Mac. it's really good. Mac. Let me take a proper picture of it. Mag is magnitude, so that Mag means we have to add, for example, three. This should still work, and now I'm gonna add load frequency, and then 
frequency 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 and now 60 i know the opposite oh no all right so now it should work yeah okay and instead of 16 in here it would be freak yes and you yes. can comment oh. function brought to you by mimetic mimetic yes is that your like how's your what's your twitter mimetic can you put it because i will put you here in in the code so that when I we publish music Oh, sure. just like that? Okay. Yeah, let me let me double check, but I'm pretty sure because I tagged him last week because he also served us up some very nice yeah, information thank you so much. last week. Um, where is it? Mm, oh, mimetic. yes. Yeah, one word. One word, mimetic only? Or mimetic, mimetic music all stuck okay. together. Yeah, he's saying that we don't need to, but yeah, come on, we, we have to. I mean, I, I, I honestly, when I learn stuff from people, I like to tell others like that it doesn't magically came out from my brain <laughs> so <laughs> i i got it from somewhere so and why not as well i like to thank people from like you know putting knowledge out there too i think it's important to point out when you learn things from others yeah absolutely uh, it's the least that we could do when somebody's giving you like the tools to do something right to give a, mm -hmm. a thank a shout out no, and even if even if the person that you're shouting out doesn't care, mm -hmm. if you don't shout them out and you just walk around talking about things as if they're your own, exactly. Which there's I there's just like that energy yeah, there. I think so too, because then people that don't know they will assume that it comes from my brain. It doesn't. It doesn't. It really does. Yeah. So I don't want to take credit from somebody else's, really. So apparently, there's a crispy sound coming from a mic. I think that that's Alethea's mic, but that's oh, it's me. Like a but I can't hear it. Maybe because I don't have headphones on. Might be my mic. No, it's mine. I'm sure. I promise next stream I will change to my headphones. It's just at the moment it's more more comfortable this than if I would have my headphone here. Mm -hmm. So I need to get a new mic. Maybe somebody can sponsor me. I'm gonna ask on Twitter <laughs> for yeah. for a sponsor of a mic. <laughs> So I think I put everything now on a function. So now it's cool. We have this function called Wiggly. And we can always use like the two vectors that we want to have. The frequency. I'm going to do frequency here. Magnitude. And oh, maybe we can as well. Like what was the zero, that 0 0.5? That could be as that well. I don't know what to call this because if I get rid of it, what happened? That was making. Oh, sorry, it's, it's my float. Like the thing to sorry. Eat on camera. Yeah, <laughs> hold on. I removed what I was writing. Yeah. So that I is. I love this. I feel yeah, like my head is exploding with all the pattern possibilities. How can we Speaking call of, this? Uh, I don't know. I, since Mario is our lovely. Uh, volunteer moderator today. I don't know if anyone has gone to see his Instagram lately, but he's been doing some beautiful, beautiful, um, very psychedelic feeling patterns. So we're here for that. Yeah. So can you try zero zero one, like just a little bit change to s try to name it and see yeah. what it's actually doing? I think it has to do with um. Sorry, I'm eating chocolate. <laughs> it's fine. I think it has to do with how close the thing is like how packed it is mm. i don't know how to describe that but if i how if can I we like, call this um, it's gonna be all spread out compactness is that like a word <laughs> is that a word like compactness or wait where's my dictionary does, does anyone have um a good idea for a name for this spread Thank you. Spread. Yes, that I like that. That makes so much sense. Okay, cool. I yes. am so terrible at naming things. I always end up, that's, I mean, look at my function. We decided to call it Wiggly, not my function at all. Mimiti's function, but. Yeah, spread. But I like spread because. Very it, to the point. Yeah. Mm. Like. So spread. Cool. A spread is spread. 
maybe just SP is spread. Spread, yeah. Of the wobble. Spread of the wobble. Ah, oh, cool. I'm so happy now we have something to play with um, yeah. today yeah. and other sessions and on our own. <laughs> Everybody, we, we like. Guys, we, we built a function as a community, sort yeah, of. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we gave us literally all of the pieces and told us how to put them together. But still. Yes, I yes. Like so if you do something, by the way, let, let us know. Uh, with yeah, this function, with and function, tag Mimetic and tag us, so yeah. so that we can. Uh, mm. If you do some we art, yeah, maybe curiously minded. minded. Why not? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Why not? I wonder if that exists already. I'm gonna check. I don't think so. Maybe I feel like not. Uh, me, me, me too. Check it out, because okay, then curious. it would be nice that if people do something after being inspired by your session, it would be cool to see what they do. Oh, there's 14 posts. <gasps> Who's already using this hashtag? <laughs> and it's all about food stuff. Okay, so we need okay. to pick a different hashtag. Maybe like... Or maybe it minded. could be with a... What is it? Dash or something? Like curiously minded? Curiously minded. How about curiously minded creation? Or you can... Or the curiously minded? The... Okay. Curiously minded creation. No, curiously minded creation is cool. That's like you a really long. It's a really long hashtag. That's what there I was like. The. Further. How about the curiously minded? Or mm. is it weird? Curiously um. creation. Ooh. Curiously minded creation or just curiously creation? Curiously minded creation doesn't have any hashtags yet. Maybe that one. That one. Maybe that one is better because it reminds the name of the thing that we're doing, the currently minded project plus creation. I know it's long, but yeah. some hashtags are long. That's a that's a long one, but I'm gonna put it in the chat if anyone wants to use it. Yeah. No, nope, no pressure, obviously, but it could be fun. Curiously minded. Am I spelling that right? Curiously minded. I will put it here. Too. Creation. I think I spelled that right. If you guys feel. But obviously, no pressure. I'll always refer to you now as the mathemagician. <laughs> I like that. Mimetik is a mathemagician. Yeah. Mathemagician and mathemusician. <gasps> Both work. Yeah, I, I have the feeling that a lot of developers that I've encountered through my journey um, have been or are musicians, which, so yeah. I think music yeah. has like Patterns but there's so things. many overlaps, right? Mm -hmm. Once you understand that a frequency is mm. like it's just also transferable. Same as um, a lot of the people that I know in who do 3D are architects. Mm. Yeah, exactly. That's who true. Who do VR are architects mm. and they like figure that shit out so fast. Mm. Okay. How do, let's let's shall we add time to yeah. something? Yeah, yeah. And where do we implement Wiggly? Let's add time. There, your cursor's already there. You're gonna do it? No, I move, I move away. So you go ahead. Time. That's really fast. Oh, wow. But yeah. this With is in the direction that we were, we were, that I was wanting to go. Mm, it's a Wiggly, yay. Nice. Um, and I wonder if the other one, you do minus, you time, you know, so mm. then one goes one direction and the other one goes the, yeah, exactly, like the same time, you know, but minus. Oh my God. I love it. I love oh, it. Everything I've always wanted to do. Yay. Yay. I always see people doing really nice, like wiggly Goodness. outlined shapes. Mm. And it always drives me crazy because I haven't, ooh, that's smooth. Yeah, I wanted to make it, it was way too much for my taste. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like a portal, and I love portals. Yeah. Well, maybe six was better. And what about if we take two as he had? Mm -hmm. oh, so pretty. Oh, maybe five. And so now that we've put everything into separate functions, we could make like another shape, oh, another circle, and like overlay it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And have exactly. It have a different kind of wobble. Mm -hmm. And we could even give it a, do we want to add color? Yeah, definitely. 
Maybe we could make the black like a gradient or something. Yeah, we yeah. Make... We can go down then. We like that moment, right? So we can yeah. just go down. Yeah. Ooh, imagine a noise there. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Let's do that. Wait, instead of the time? Um, yeah, I was just thinking like... Does shaders work the same way JavaScript does? Where like if the function is below the other function, I can still use it in it? I don't know, but we can try. <laughs> because <laughs> some stuff sometimes yeah. is the same and some stuff is not like JavaScript. So uh, probably okay. not because I put I think it. Not. I'm going to move it below. Hold on. Okay. Just stay there. Me, mm. Matik, okay. saying that we should introduce a for loop. I was trying to do that yesterday on my own time. For some reason, it terrifies me in shaders, which is crazy because I use a for loop all the time in everything else that I do. But for loops are not performant in shaders. I don't like them because they are not performant. I'm afraid. So, or what do you think, Mimetic? Since you're very advanced <laughs> on the topic, but uh, in the places where I've been learning shaders, um, I always I read that they are not so great. Um, Thank you for joining, Nemo. I think I saw someone else in your arrival too. Hello, um, Daniel. Buenos dias. It's so early as well for him. I fell asleep. Oh, but come on. It's he's in the US, so it should be very early right now. Like Oh. I don't know, six thirty, seven I am. Thank you for coming. But someone yeah. else arrived before and left a comment and I'm trying to find it so I can say hello to oh, them too. Oh okay. I, can't find it. I think it you, was my Chen. UN Chan twenty three. Hi. I saw you come in and I didn't get a chance to say hello. Thank you for joining. Glad that you're here on MLO. Yeah, very um, happy. We've been building a wobbly circle, and we're really happy with the wobble. Thanks to Mimitic, by the way. Yes, he gave us the secret. Mm -hmm. And now, because we like our shape, mm -hmm. we're going to implement some color. Wait, at I'm... this level, it's fine. Yeah. So the for loop, Mimitic says, um, "Hold on a second. Depends how many for loops you use." And how much performance you need. Like with one circle, it's probably fine. Oh, okay. See, I wanted to make a for loop to create multiple shapes the other day in a grid. And then I was like, for some reason, my brain was like, nope, not today. By the so way, I the randomness is not doing much. Um, probably because I put like 0.5 in there. Maybe if I put UVX or something? No. Oh, okay. Then it does something. something a little okay. bit more crazy. Okay. I think I like more the other stuff for now. So. I'm just going to eat my orange, but off camera one second. No problem. I'm going to go back with you time and because I really like how it is right now and just want to add color and maybe more of them moving around. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go back down here and then we can, yeah, add color. And Emilio also says four loops are not that bad. Just don't go crazy with them. Okay, oh, okay. so I can use like one or two. In okay, a simple cool. sketch like this. Oh, Alethea. I'm gone. I see. Your camera went offline. Time to put my other one. Oh, no. It's OK. It happens to the best of them. Even um, <laughs> Dan Schiffman's camera consistently goes off during his uh, streams. It only lasts two hours, the freaking battery. So because that was an expensive camera. I mean, I didn't buy Ooh. it. Thankfully, it was a gift. <laughs> but but for an expensive camera and just having two hours. Um, it's the Canon, no? Uh, no, it's a Sony. Uh, mm -hmm. Everyone's calling it. you a human shader. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, so let's see, FaceTime camera. Oh, I didn't know that. Animolo, Animolo says, in 3JS materials, for loops are used to calculate the shading for the objects. Mm. In, oh, oh, get a new what, angle. What, what, what? Internet materials for loops are used to calculate. Calculate the shading for the objects. That's interesting. All hail the that. human shape. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm back with a less resolution camera from my um, laptop. So That's this okay. is the camera I that I have. Low resolution camera too. Which mm. now died. It's so cute and compact. Yeah, I liked it. Uh, it's. It's well nice to have it as to take it out and take photos. I mean, it's really cool. It was a nice gift. Maybe is it would it cost a lot to get another battery? 
No, uh, my boyfriend already told me, but I'm lazy as shit. <laughs> he told me since he got it to me, you have to buy a battery now, so because probably it's not gonna last. And I'm like, yeah, we'll see if it breaks off. Like I will do it. So I'm always like that. So <laughs> he's a doer, which I am not. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm always waiting till the end to do stuff. I think I'm a doer. Am I a doer? I'm a doer, but I'm easily no? distracted. Me, I'm like I try to be, do be a doer, but I'm I'm I don't know. If I call it, I don't know if it's laziness or I like to procrastinate, so I, I normally wait till the last minute, so. Oh, maybe you, yeah, but you're one of those people maybe that needs the pressure. I, I am, like since, uh, probably since I was in school, like little teenager, like when, <laughs> you know, you had a test. I yeah. never studied until like a day uh, before when I was like already like stressed, like, oh, tomorrow is the test, like fuck and then i wouldn't sleep like a whole evening like digesting everything and then all good and and nowadays i think it's the same like with work stuff and just tasks i always wait till the end which i, I hate a lot in school, but now because of, because i guess because of that i'm like the opposite i try to do i don't know it depends yeah it really depends sometimes i procrastinate but it's like it, i can feel that it's just crawling uh, no, it's like it's like a good type of procrastination. It's like your inspiration's not there yet, but you know it's like it's like somewhere inside you coming so that you're gonna mm. it's like okay to not do the thing. Mm. But then there's other stuff where like I have a list of stupid shit I have to do and I stare at the list and I'm like, I don't want to do any of it. But that's when you know to just do it for mm. me. I know that I have to just like start. Um mm. anyways, that was a total tangent, sorry. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's add some color. Let me grab some Yeah, color. yeah, yeah. Um, mm. Should we do, like, choose two colors? Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with my usual yellow because I'm going to start. But let's call them maybe, I don't know. Color. I'm going to call it C2. Okay. C2. Mine is okay. C1. Three. Because it's going to start off as yellow, and then I'm going to tweak it, and then it'll, it'll be something weird. Uh, yellow is red. And I'm gonna take purple this time. Blue, right? I don't know if I did that right. I think it's that, that's correct. Uh, 0 0.5, I took purple. And now we can mix C1, C2, circle. I'm excited to see what color. Is it gonna be the background or the foreground? Um, I don't know, but somehow it's broken. Did I break it? Um, Circle is a float. Yeah. Nice. Can can you move your cursor a second? Because maybe yeah. what I typed, right. yeah, I broke it. I forgot a comma. Mm. Okay. So now it should be working, I think. Um, why did I break it? Wait, color is a vector three. Circle is a floating number. Oh, huh. um, wait, we called her. <laughs> wait. <laughs> we called oh, her. yeah, both of us. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I tell uh, Shaders is unforgiven. That. <laughs> That's not what I'm expecting. Swap the colors. Like C2 here. I wonder because I don't see the yellow at all. But why is it? Is it yellow one zero one? Let me check because maybe actually that's I not I yellow. That For me, yeah, that wasn't yeah. yellow. By the way, it was pinkish. Yeah. <laughs> it was pink. That's why it was like cool. it was a pinkish color. So okay. So oh, but wait, cool. now we have a we have a mixed function that we added to color, mm. and we have one of the colors on the shape and one of them on the exterior. But is there a way to make them be a gradient just in mm. the circle one? Do you want a gradient? Yeah, like like yellow and pink mixed, but like in the circle line. Yellow and mixed pinks. Ah, only in the circle, not in the background, you mean? Yeah. yeah or we, can... we keep the pink background and we add some kind of third color and mix that in with the yellow. I yeah, don't know. exactly. We can do that, for example. So and I, to I do that... Yellow. We need to mix the circle function before that, I, I assume. So I'm going to pull the colors a little bit up 
here. Yeah. With color. Cool. And then, because I assume that we need to here. I'm gonna let's have a third color, which could be what the goes good with yellow, by the way. What goes good with yellow? Mm -hmm. Blue. You can do zero, um, zero, one. Oh, zero, zero, one. Hmm. Good. And um, maybe I'm assuming we have to mix this. I'm not sure. Mario, I think, I think, I think that's the whole point of smooth stuff. Makes it, it makes it. Um, but I like the hard edge at the moment. Yeah, I know what you mean. You want to apply the gradient T inside the. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, why did I break it now? Mm. No, because uh, Mimichi was saying that we could use smooth step to like blur the edge of the wobble. Yeah, I know, but it's not what we want. We want the gradient inside the like sharp. Um, yeah. Color. Um, hold on. Why, 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 why? Uh, oh, of course. Right, that's why it's not working. <laughs> uh -huh. I can't believe that like 10, 10, 11 people have been hanging out with us this whole time. That's so fun. Glad you guys are here. Mm. With the end shader toy. <laughs> it are, you, are you doing, are you animal or are you recreating what we're doing now in shader toy? Who? Cool. If you do. Drop a link, we want to see what you're making. An Emilo is doing that or? And he said, and is an Emilo a dude or a girl? Yeah, yeah, I realize Mimetic thinks that big three is, yes. Uh, so I'm Mate. I'm still uh -huh. thinking, so. Okay. An Emilo I think is playing with it in Shader Toy. How can we then implement color when we only want it? Because yeah, color it would always be a vector three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do we add? Mm. Ah, hold on. What if we layer up? I always forget, but we can kind of hold on. Hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe. No, it's not happening what I thought. Hmm. Um. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I still have to think how can we put because yeah, it's right. Like if we want, what I was trying to do is not going to work because the the color is a vector three and the circle function is a float. So if what if I'm you add the circle to the color and not. Oh yeah, try that. Where you um, are. So if I use like 0.5 and then I say plus circle. Oh okay. I thought you were gonna switch swap. Swap what? Okay. Up. Okay. I mean, what if this is? I don't know. Just to see if there's like a, a mm -hmm, gradient. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh yeah. You're going there. Is, and then I'm gonna oh, make the background. Oh, wait. Why does the background turn yellow? Oh, because interpolation is in both. Maybe at the time in the color instead. Mm. You had 0.5 there, right? Yeah. And let's see. And the, the yellow. Mm -hmm. Okay. The the orange is probably because. Try to uh, here. In, in oh, either. In yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, where's my either, either in C1 or... Yeah, exactly. I was just wondering, like... Maybe it's gonna affect the whole thing, too. Yeah, that makes more sense. Because now it's not gonna... Uh, no, it's still, still affecting the whole thing. Um, I thought it was Here. because of the interpolation. Mm. Oh, maybe you need to add the, the time in the circle because that is a floating number indeed. So not in the mixing, but be before. Uh, so here? Uh, no, he yeah, here, like either in the circle function or, or somewhere in the circle, like up, up, up. 
Mm. Okay. Just try that. I wonder, like. Mm, yeah. It's kind of like, but it made it disappear because now oh, it's only you. Yeah. Already. Maybe that's something because it's going to make it like go from gradient T to. Yeah. Exactly. So. Oh, no. The whole thing again. Oh, damn. So weird. Um, it has to be or oh, probably we have to apply it within the function that we created i guess i was thinking that too so we can go um, up and do that <laughs> this is very halloweeny <laughs> 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 at some point like orange and black cool uh okay so i'm going into into wobble no Oh. What function were you thinking? Wait, maybe Chick mentioned something. Hold on. Or use length UV uh, instead of point five here. Oh, mimetic as usual. <laughs> Wait. that's it oh, that's <laughs> oh my god wait, wait there's still some color in the top right yeah yeah corner, but this is beautiful. cool mimetic is kind of like what we want but there's some color yeah exactly in the background like it oh, would wait. be amazing to to figure it out too why is it doing that what the the length oh that's kind of like when you're starting like, out and you're just putting the ux dot uv dot x uv dot y as the color R and G, right? It's the same idea. Mm. No. Well, it's the distance of the the screen to a point. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, like at the very beginning, when there's nothing on the page here, mm. we do like color back four here. You do like UVX, UVY, uh, one or zero, and then one. It's the same idea because you're putting the position. I guess. The length, because what does length is when you put a, I'm get confusing everybody by confusing myself. When you put a parameter in the length function, mm -hmm. you're getting the length of what? Of well, that parameter from the center or from? Remember you use it for in the circle to yeah. create the distance. If you go yeah. back to the circle function, maybe you can remember how you applied it. Um, because in the, in your circle function, the, you the vector not yeah the length of the vector okay specifies a vector of which to calculate the length the length of the vector the length of the vector from the pixel to the center because you could... got it you give it a pixel minus the center point mm, sort of clear mm, i get the gist from zero to the bottom left corner oh let me look in okay. the glossary and see if I can that's, explain that's it. That's what I was looking at. But it, it's always like there's one sentence that explains it and it says calculate the length of a vector. I get that, but since we're talking about floats here, how does that work? Oh no, we're not talking about floats. No. We're talking about C, C2 and C1 are vector threes, but then UV is a vector two. Mm -hmm. So how are we mixing? In there. Uh, by 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 inserting the uv we're kind of um playing with two vectors the uv x like the the, the two coordinates the x and the y so we're First mixing two vector threes together based on a parameter of two positions yeah for me well, i like no, to th me. think that with the length you're measuring if you were had like a tape and you take like the the like the edge of the screen and then you're like, you know, measuring like in the X axis and in the Y axis. Um, and when we insert the UV, it's like we see this gradient in the middle because yeah. we have the hack yeah. that centers or yeah. UV instead of like, yeah. for example, if I remove the hack that we had uh, this 0.5, I assume that the gradient T uh, Hold on, it's not no longer gonna be like in the middle, yeah. but it's gonna be. You see, everything yeah, exactly. moves, yeah. even the gradient, and 
because it's measuring the length from the edge to where to the edge to the middle. Yeah. Okay. That's, That's what Mimi just said too. Okay, you guys are yeah. Awesome. yeah oh, okay. I, right. I didn't read that. <laughs> But cool, Can then I'm not wrong. Thank you. <laughs> so if somebody yeah. else thinks the same. Why, whoops, sorry. Um, why is there pink in the top right hand corner? I wonder. Because this is the thing that still I wonder. That's why I was asking Mimetic since he thought about this brilliantly. This yeah, but, but if we wanted to apply the gradient to only there, it seems that it's affecting, like the mixing is still affecting the whole spectrum of the whole screen. So what we could do is to apply, I guess, a background um yeah or yeah, yeah yeah i'm assuming like a color to the background so for example i've never actually purposely just made a background layer i've never really known how to do that i've always just kind of gone with black or white or if i mix a bunch of colors whatever the color is and i tweak until i get something i like um i'm gonna try something yeah. Maybe kill this color. Hmm. I was we still have the gradient T at the top. Hmm. What if I layer it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I cannot layer it because I have something. Um. UV length UV minus point five. Me mentioning this address. Oh, to move right, yeah. but then it's gonna move the whole gradient to right. Yeah, so th of course it's gonna disappear, but it's gonna disappear as well from the center. What we had the effect because mm. it's pushing everything. So because now it's no. Uh, let me remove this that I had or just change the I think and then this becomes circle again no no I'm gonna we want that, oh, the white background so oh see? okay oh no sorry my bad you were right so if we I comment I, I, I was just comment yeah exactly comment out that and call this color again like this like we had it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is there still a gradient? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not really. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty yellow though. I do like that yellow. Um, what okay, happens so then... if we do twenty-five? Sorry, I'm just curious. No, go for it. It's just the spectrum. Ah, now it's more. Yeah. Now, now it's definitely yeah. because it's flat. Yeah. Okay. And if I have. 15 okay there's a do you see the corner is has the gradient t mm -hmm. so i guess with 25 we hide it but we keep the gradient t in the circle so great thank you i like it that's so pretty thank you oh okay wait he had a what? different hack as well he says multiply length yeah it's a different way i mean you could do it too but i i like this one just as well too it worked yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, that's fun. And now we would need to insert the color at the bottom, which was what I was trying to do. Um, okay, so maybe the tree color background. Mm -hmm. Equals C1 or something. Well, um, do we already have a C1? Oh, oh you, you want, want sorry, my bad. No, sorry. I, I, I want the C1 okay. to be the color background. No. <laughs> sorry. And then I'm gonna color, uh, color background. We and lost, yeah, we did lose the name alone, Tutor Toy. He's like, we want to see what you're making. There we go. Oh, but I actually like this. I mean, I have the background, but if I actually, Ooh. this is nice. That's oh cute, isn't God. it? Because if we multiply it, I know that we're layering up. So then we, we do see the background mm -hmm. that we want it. Um, but maybe the background should be, 
Oh, I somehow like this one. Don't you like it? me? This one? But what if you also put it underneath? Does the order matter? I I believe it does matter. Oh, yeah, it does. Or matter. didn't I think it changed a little bit, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, with the other. Mm -hmm. Then we're not going to see the mm -hmm. Oh, no, then it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, order doesn't matter. Um, how would we do that? I wonder. Do black sound? I actually like it white, like this. Me too. I kind of like it <laughs> instead of like having a color background. How would we do? Wait, it's so here, I'm not. Right? This One is not color black. Minus. So. This is C. Did I do that one? One yeah, minus. Yeah, yeah, half? yeah, yeah, yeah. Or no, it no, it's not there. Sorry, the 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 one when I did it, it was outside. Sorry, not there, but outside. Huh. Do it outside the step. Oh, right. There. Okay. And then it's gonna swap it. I feel. Yeah. Oh, that's not what I was expecting at all. That's funny. I thought it was gonna make the background black. Ah, no, no, no. It's swapping the the one minus zero when you apply it to a function when you have like two colors. It mirrors them like it changes them where they are but we could try black maybe black would be cool i think black with that gradient would be amazing but how but do we make it hold on first of all i'm gonna call this gradient because otherwise we're gonna lose it mm -hmm. and then we would need like a different vector tree big tree color background again uh, color background and i always forget zero right is black and one is yeah zero is black and then i guess you would say color um color matter um then it could be no it's it's zero white zero is black oh zero is black so why i don't see my color then um, Mm, hold on. Now it's black, okay. Yeah. Um, no. Wait. <laughs> Maybe I need to multiply now this layer up. Now I don't see. I see nothing. Yeah, me neither. But I uh, assuming why, 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 why? Normally it should be there. Um, hmm. This is odd. <coughs> oh. What if I put it below? But I think we agreed that there was no difference in that. Um, oh, now everything is black. Okay. Yeah, it's just the last thing that we paint on. And then... It's so strange. And if, if I add it, nothing happens. Minus... Nothing happens. <laughs> maybe the minus two. Mm -mm. Now I'm thinking that maybe we need to mirror the white instead. Where's the white coming from? Um, if you go back to and comment that one, hold on. It was white since the beginning, right before the gradient, actually. So. No. Um, I yeah, it was off. white. It was when we implemented the circle with um, abs. That wait, let me try something. Because when we did it with this, the, the circle was white and the background was black. Now everything's inverted. So weird. Um, but when we implemented the circle with mm. uh, it flipped everything. Yeah. So like the background that was black is now white. And I thought that that was when you would put uh. one minus abs plus abs. No, minus abs, that it had switched. But then that's not actually true because it's inverting within the circle with what's outside the circle. It doesn't actually change the outside color. So Right. 
And I wonder, like, if you do it there, it's just gonna swap the. Yeah, it's just gonna like flip like, them back, back and forth. If you multiply something for zero, you get zero. Yeah, that's why I was getting the black. Yeah, I'm afraid you're right. <laughs> Mario, yeah. I'm sure you have the same water container as me, Mario. Um, so I, I lost my cord. I lost the, the connector for this water bottle, and so I can't charge it anymore. It's supposed to um, purify my water with some kind of magical light. Something. I don't know where I put the um cord so we mentioned think it's saying change 1.0 minus color instead of color at the end oh that's what i was trying to do before which one i only did, I only did minus oh right i just throw minuses in front of everything but i don't put the ah one. then we have the black but we lose our hmm. our gradient changes yeah color. exactly that's what i was afraid that because it's yeah. gonna affect both of them that's why i was trying to apply like a layer of black Behind. I don't think you can though, because you put in because you put in um I don't know if you can separate things that way. But you, you put in normally um, you could because that's why I was trying, for example, to apply this when you multiply and you put a layer on top. But maybe to just say just one. And Emilo says you can. Okay. Yeah, but I you're can. Look, I'm um, gonna remove the minus one because it makes it greenish in there. But. Uh, oh, these effects as well. Hmm. Animalo, how do you add a layer of black? Try one minus C2 and one minus C1. Oh, in each of the colors. Um, I think he meant here. Oh, in there, in, the in mix. my back. <laughs> in the mix. In here, right? Yeah, I think in the mix he meant. Interesting. That's. So, um, yeah, did you mean it. there? And then Mario says, what happens if you do min vec3 color? Where? Where would you put that? Min? Oh, he means in the geo frag color, probably. Okay, wait, and Emily just gave us the answer, I think. Um color plus equals let me try this down here color yeah. plus equals c1 times one minus circle mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's see what are we doing here you're saying this part it's still white <laughs> so it's not did I do that wrong? No. No, C1. you didn't. But thanks for helping us. Thanks for trying, guys. <laughs> Let's, keep trying. <laughs> Let's keep trying. Let's keep trying. Without, we want to add the black without affecting what we have. Yeah. I'm gonna move again my things. Oops. Interesting. Well, I mean, I don't mind it on a on a white background, but I'm just annoyed now because I'm like, how? What is the what? What is the logic in? I get that? it. Yeah, I'm I'm like that when I'm trying to do something and and then when I cannot, even if I will not like in the end like to have it, <laughs> I just yeah. wanna know. <laughs> I mean, even if we don't figure it out today, I'm gonna probably try and because I did it in my thing that I posted yesterday, but I didn't I built the circle without using absolute. That's the only thing that I can think that's different. Without using the absolute Ah, uh, but that shouldn't affect what But when we but you you don't remember but when we when we made the circle with absolute it flipped everything this the outline of the circle became black instead of white yeah as as i know but for example if you would now implement your function what is going to swap is the gradient the green is going to be yeah, in the yeah. background and the white because yeah. that's what it was swapping it was like this is tricky try 1.0 <laughs> minus circle df where is that up here 1.0 minus circle gf let's see no it's i think i did that not in the right place that mustn't be where you mean for me to use it but that's the only place that we're implementing it no then it everything breaks let me try that again maybe i did it wrong 1.0 minus circle yeah everything just breaks i don't think that that is the answer and I have another idea. Color equals mix. Um, let's see. <laughs> C 
Hold on. Oh no, wait, hold on. Fix green. Well, I, I'm kind of, it reassures me when people don't know, like when the answer isn't obvious. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I'm not so we're not the only ones. <laughs> <laughs> we're not the only ones. Zero two color. Like, what am I typing? Um, oh, but it changes the gradient as well. Hmm. Yeah, so I killed that idea because it's changing the whole thing. So we stick with white for now. Oh, what about... Hmm. But I don't think that's going to make a difference because we swapped the color eventually. Oh, it kills it. Oops. Uh, I don't know. I don't mind. Do you want to... Do you no, want to... Me neither. Second circle and We're, like yeah. overlay it or something. We're gonna kill know. this idea and keep it for our own exploration because we're already sitting here like two hours. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. so we want to speed this up. Can you show the circle in color? Color. <gasps> yeah, we're gonna kill this idea, guys, just because it's taking a while. We'll come so. back to it. Yeah. Oh, hey. what probably we will research it. Um, on our own, and then next stream we will tell you. Oh, check it out! I don't know if you you, you can show what an animal yeah. made. Uh, ah, That's yeah, fun. I could. Let me put in the screen. Hey, okay. you made like a breathing sphere, circle, not sphere. But yeah, that's awesome. All the different layers. Oh, it's so peaceful. Yeah, it. it's like breathing circles. Cool. So, so good. Thanks for playing Thanks around. For yeah. Um, okay, so it's like one thirty-nine. Yeah, exactly. That's why let's um, let's make more circles, like, and kill the idea mm -hmm. of the background because it's not like I'm not dying if like it stays white. It's okay. No, me neither. Because <laughs> the other idea takes more time to explore how mm -hmm. to after a gradient. Okay, so if you want to make another color. We can just add a, another circle on top of it. Right, just another circle. Circle two. Mm. Mm. You can change the size. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to apply it here. Meanwhile, you're doing that. And this one I'm gonna layer it up. Mm -hmm. um, circle two. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I would like it that it's more random somehow. What mm -hmm. do you think? Mm -hmm. mm. Is random a continuous value though, or is it is it always animated? Mm, I was actually thinking, ooh. It, oh, oh, probably, uh, no, that was the thickness of the, um, oh, so it made it yes, the, no, I mm. think we need a, a, a second function too here, like cool. circle function two, and we use the circle function two, and then instead of um, the UV, uh, we can do Vector two. Oh, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm assuming maybe we need to go to the oh, I, I'm just changing the the shape. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What if I in both? Then we have it. Okay. This is what I meant, but it's not really like. No, that's cool. You know what it? You know what it? I love this. You know what this reminds me of? It's like um, uh, the watermarks of a wet glass on paper, but with watercolor paint. Ah, true. Mhm. Mm I love that stuff. Mm. I find it really pretty. But you don't like it. You're not satisfied. Uh, not super satisfied. But wait, I'm gonna make it smaller. It's pretty though. I wonder if we can make the position move after. 
Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's too small. Okay, so small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see, because you make it, let's make it not as thin, because mm -hmm. since I made it smaller, it's like way thinner than before, I guess, so. Do you want to try and do it in a for loop and use the, the iterator to change param the parameters? Uh, yeah. So we could try and, ooh, ooh, this ah, is like, okay, to right, it. right, with Run the for loop, then you're going to, yeah, yeah, try that. Uh, it's an int. I always make that mistake. Int equals mm -hmm. i equals zero. I'm not used to doing this with types. Um, i is less than, we'll make three. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to get some water now. Okay. Plus, plus. I should have a thermo as well next time. Okay. Um, and then I want to create this guy um wait a second how do i do that with the with like a how do i do that do i do like circle equals is it the eye is it the circle this is where i got laughed last time i think because i'm so used to using doing it one hard coding it that way so if i want to create a circle. I mean, I know that I'm doing this. I, and, oh, thank you. I didn't realize that. Does the three not, is it a for loop? So I don't need to put, right, because it's an int, my bad, duh. Yeah, integer, um, integer is not a floating number. I always forget oh, as well. It's an I know this, No, no, I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm, my brain is mushed suddenly. Like, I know that I'm doing this three times, but then do I say circle equals three times? No, that doesn't make any return. sense. Return? You could say return circle. circle. And then delete the step. Um, and then I, I think. <laughs> I feel like this isn't... Do I... I don't think I've ever... Why do you... Uh, why are you doing float circle? I don't know, because I'm not sure how to create three circles um, this way in a for loop, because I'm so used to doing them one by one. So, ah, I, okay, okay, okay. like, in the for loop, in shaders, how does it work? Do I need to return something like I do in a function? That's what I was thinking. Do we? He says, mm. for the for loop, you have to add colors inside the for loop. Ah, yeah. Circle okay. that equals. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. No, no, don't delete it. But um, I was going to move it because I think we have to move it below. Below what? Oh, the colors. My bad. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Okay. Like right below, like after here. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for making a little spot for me. <laughs> um, cool. So circle plus equals stamp, I guess. So I'm going to do that. Mm. And then I don't think that's it, or... I don't, I don't know that I'm doing this right. I'm not sure. There's no return of for loops. That's what I thought. That's why I was confused. And ah, I, okay. I thought no, there was a return, so it's not, it's not see, like this that. Is why, <laughs> this is why I got <laughs> intimidated by this for loop. I know how to use for loops in JavaScript and in Unity, but for some reason in shaders, I don't know. Maybe... Do hold on. Maybe we need to kill this. Plus we need to kill crazy. this. And we need to put this here, basically. I think. Okay, I see something. Oh, okay. But it's like, mm, not really what I wanted. So, why? Ah. Uh, three circles. Okay, now I'm... Okay, new idea. I'm gonna move the for loop before the mixing. Before the circle. And here, say... Um, Wait a second. How is it so hard to implement a for loop? <laughs> 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 what do you want to do? Make multi yeah, make multiple circles. I want to. I want to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, 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 I assume like we could do it with fract, but we wanted to try the loop thing because with yeah. fract, I know how to do it. But um, 
So, yeah, okay, wait, wait, we can wait, wait, wait. For the for loop, yeah. after color plus gradient. Ah, uh, oh, maybe that's pretty here. Wait. Okay, wait, you have an idea? I was gonna move the float circle inside the loop. Okay. But maybe defining the circle inside a loop is not making anything when I no, think I've about tried it. That before. Ah, okay. <laughs> we were suggesting, yeah, before mix but after gradient, and then and then the mix functions inside the for loop. That's what I tried before, but there was try. nothingness. I tried to do that before, and there was a blank. Okay, wait. I think we maybe went too quick though. Color, the but it was all white. Line. The two color lines. This Save is the problem the that I, it's all white. But wait, because he was saying to add two more things to it, but I don't know what the color ah. is. What are you talking about? Oh, maybe we need to multiply it to layer it. I didn't think about that instead of uh, like, uh, because we want to add them. Mm. What are the color? I mean, put also the float circle inside the fork. Ah, okay, wait, oh, these okay. guys. This guy. I have a feeling maybe now we have it, but they are overlapped at the same right spot, so we don't see three. Oh, okay. So what about plus nine? Oh wait, that's not the right place for it. <laughs> no, I think um, it's because you bring you brought in the float I think, function. Yeah, I think. Wait. Anyways, you you can implement your idea. I was trying to follow the steps, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but that now you kill. Easy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think we killed that, and I was assuming that uh, maybe here is circle three. I mean I. Maybe that was the meaning of it. Right, because we need to implement. No, that's not doing nothing. Okay. Yeah, the loops and GLSL. Uh, maybe she says <laughs> you're right. So you're, no, no, you understand, but we haven't realized it yet. So he says, put also the float circle inside the for oh, okay. loop. So, so it's inside it, the variable circle, exactly, Elitia is right. Variable yeah, that they, are, that they are like, we don't see them because they are like, boom, 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 right? So yeah, three. so how do we change that? So we need to move the UVs, the UV or... Ah. Um, yeah, okay. So plus I? Yeah, maybe something like this. But but it's a bit why is not taking the I? Oh. I is an integer. It. Do we have to convert the integer into a floating number or Is that how you do that? Is that how you do casting? I can't remember. Yeah. But okay. that just changed the color. Yeah, somehow we need to move them. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe How do we move the layer? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are funny. Um, okay, how do we move it over? Well, so that's the thing. So right now we're mixing the color, but what I wanted to do was like, so up here we have mm. circle uh, one and then we have circle two. And so mm. what we're actually needing to put in the for loop, I think is the step stuff. That's what positions it. Ah, not the color, you mean? Yeah. So I'm gonna remove the color and put it out again? I think. So then you've got circle plus equals. And then we have to put this up again, I think. I have the feeling that we have to, because before we use it on the mix. Okay. Um, There's something happening. <laughs> Maybe multiply it, multiply it to layer it up. Um, Instead of oh right, yeah, yeah. Oh cool, that's okay. okay yeah, but okay. now let's make it so that how is it that? We but wait, no, we're not for looping. You no, because there's only two, but we also uh, want okay. I. Why does it? No, I don't think we're using it right. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh wait wait there's something happening yeah yeah but wait i'm gonna kill the circle function two to circle function normal yeah. 
Um, what happened? Oh, is it because I... Sorry, no, leave it. I think it was, it's because I I killed the function... Sorry. I, I tried to use function 1. Oh. But function 2 um. works better because I'm... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. keep keep on. Now now try what you were going to do. Uh, I got it. I got it. I think I'm finally getting it, guys. All right, that's people. sickness. That's sickness. That's sickness. My yeah. Okay, so if I do sign times you times define by What we could do is that the integer we could do like Oh. Yeah, I'm going to wait that you I'm not doing anything. By the way, I want to try and write, add some like randomness or something. Um, let's rand. I. Is that gonna do any? Oh, mm, it's very fast. Very yeah. very fast. Um, that's funny. Let me make it. But it is. At least there are three of them. Yeah. But that's, I don't like that. But no. okay, I understand how it works. I think because it's the thickness, so it's not good to apply it there, I feel. But yeah. before wait before you apply something else, I think, because we don't need to to circle functions. Um I'm gonna put like circle function. Um, I oh. Oh, sorry, finish your thing. I just wanted to because I don't think at this point we need two, so I was gonna have one and kill this one and call this like this. Ah, and yeah, then okay. I was gonna say hey. float circle zero zero and see what happens. Oh, we still need like okay. Oh I wonder why. Oh but it's different. It was more Ah oh, okay. No, wait, wait. Mm. It was better the other way, wasn't it? Because now it's like... Now it's like perfect. Yeah, Not so I'm gonna... Random. I just wanted to try, but I guess in a way it's cool to have two functions in the end. So, yeah. Okay, so... Sorry. I is too big. If I, so I equals float... Um, float... Yeah, so we don't have to do it I. all the time. <laughs> Times point zero five. Can I do that? And then I don't need to do that here. Mm, yeah, you can do I. Mm, I guess you have that to did create. Not work. No, but wait, wait. Maybe it's not so wrong. Let's create a new variable called I don't know E N. I don't think <laughs> we can. It's That's work. like a keyword. No, but it oh in. Yeah. Oh, darn. Um. Then count. Yeah. Count. Oh yeah, smart. Close. And now I think it should work, but why is not working? Maybe because should I maybe not have made it so small? Or maybe remove the whole thing to see if it works with the just creating a variable for the float integer. No, no, no. It was it was right. Because instead of writing float integer each time, I thought we could put it inside a variable. But it seems that um, it does not like yeah. it. <laughs> I guess, okay, wait. So float i times equals float i times 0.5. Is that what it meant? And then here, we just have to continuously cast it? That's crazy. Oh, that's why I don't like for loops. So that's not because of the for loop. That's just the integer thing, I think. Even yeah, outside, yeah, I know, use an int. Anyways, I'm not sure. That was just a suggestion for me to take, but I mean, if you stop doing that, it should work. Wait a second. Everything's broken. Let me go back to what it was before it broke. Did I go back too far? You can. No, I didn't mean to go back that far. I was trying to get back to... Ah, okay, okay. How do I go forward? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, no. Did it, you figure it, it out? Oh, why? Yeah, but I don't understand okay. because... 
If I just delete that and go back to flow I. Yeah, that that's what we had. For me, it doesn't work. Oh, yes, it does. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, cool. I wanted to see what happens when we have more. If it's still random like this a little bit. Yeah, I see a bigger one. That's what he was saying. Multiply the flow I by a smaller, the flow I by mm. a smaller number. Um, because it's too big. Let me times 0.5. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So okay, and then we can have five again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's like a bullseye though. That's so weird that it's not at all random. Um, oh, I know now why. Because I just position. move like like the function too. I just move it like instead of being in the center, I move it to the left, and and of course it's a bullseye because we are not applying any randomness to the position. So. Um, where would that be? Is that here? Uh, that would be here in the function. Here up. Uh, Do you see? Uh, I I did a vector two. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to delete. I was gonna break it so you could see. So Got it's it. in here that I multiply the u v x and y by some number, so not to have it center, but it. kind of like because I'm making it bigger. Mm -hmm. So in there, I assume that we could apply some randomness and then maybe it's going to be random. Mm. Mm. Nevertheless, I'm now when I'm thinking like what the loop is doing to me is what fractals and mod, modulo. But, but wait, because this is why, so if, if instead of doing this here and putting it inside, well, like what if we took this and then put it in here yeah then it's a bull's eyes really like no but then you can add randomness ah, okay. and every iteration it'll be different yeah but the semicolon so if you were to do Column times rand you have a semicolon there thank you um is that am i missing am i missing a Bracket? I think mm. I got lost. Lost in an ocean of brackets. Um, Rand, yeah, I'm missing one. Mm -hmm. So then you've got everything so giant. But yeah, I think but we can make it smaller with this multi. Yeah, exactly. Did that randomize it at all? Oh, it made a big blob. Wow. I like it. <laughs> I don't know how we came up um, with that, but <laughs> that's so weird. Why is it doing that? Um, Try like uh, a five in there. It's not gonna be proportional yeah. though anymore. Mm. Yeah. I see nothing. Oh, so it has to be a smaller number. Yeah. I imagine maybe instead of using like a floating number, we could use time. But yeah, then definitely. it's gonna be like moving a lot, I guess. So. Let's see. Oh, I see nothing moving. That's so weird. Am I missing a. Oh, okay. Yeah, there it is. It but it's very it like. And they're all on top of each other, I guess. Yeah, know? they're on top of each other, exactly. So. Okay. I'm confused. I need to use the bathroom. I'm going to put my mic down for a second. But also, it's 2 o'clock, so no yeah. pressure. Yeah. <laughs> I think so, too. <laughs> we, we've taken a lot of time. Yeah. Can you move um, your cursor, though? Because otherwise, I, I don't see. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm going to put this down for a second. If yeah. you want, you can play around with it. And when I come yeah. Back, we can. I'm going to remove well. this because it's yeah. making me dizzy. So, I don't know, but I'm not loving the for loop. I, I feel like it's simpler to to use um, I feel it's simpler to use fract when wants wants to do something like this. But now now I killed the whole thing because
Mm. Actually, um, oh, I'm lost, but I think I prefer this. Um, damn, I'm fully lost again. This is what, what I want to do. Yeah, I'm just really yeah. lost. Probably I'm tired mm. now. Yeah, <laughs> and we can keep it on the side and post the final shader. Yeah, I think so. Oh, it's all black. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to figure out why did I break it when I was trying to remove the... the... hold on. Oh, I see why I broke it. Okay. Oh. I had too many... Yeah, it is. <laughs> ah, crazy. Is it because of the apps? Hold on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That doesn't make a difference, so I'm going to remove it because that's what I was wondering. Mm. Oh, God, it's just... I'm going to move... There they are. Oh, okay, oh, so it was... Oh, got it. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, that interesting. Happy. Oh, cute. Hold on. They're all just floating there in a line. I cannot, I feel I cannot read code when it's just too freaking long, so now it's a little bit better. Um, so, when we had apps here, absolute, was it here that I had it? And I kill it. I think I make them all um, the same, the same so we don't see the five, but... Oh, right, because they can't be, they're all above. Yeah. The other ones will be below. Yeah. Oh, obviously, because I'm multiplying by 0 0.5, point zero five. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Well, which one do you like, this one, or to have the f five little things orbiting? I think... I'm going to say that I prefer the apps version, but I'm going to put this version underneath it commented because I want to play with it mm -hmm. later and try and... Oh my goodness. And then I just put apps here? Because mm -hmm. I really... Did you do the whole thing in apps? No. Only here. Um, I really love how the, the little outline in the middle is oh, it's so pretty. Well done. But wait a second, I have a new idea because now that we're not really using the for loop, I'm just gonna kill the for loop. Um, because I don't think we need it, honestly. When we want this. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, but why? Oh, of course, because I'm... I don't have that anymore. Just a second, I want to see if with this we get the same effect. Um, why am I doing? Why is he still complaining? Do I have... Uh, can I not do this? What are you trying to do? Um, um, I was just assuming that we don't need this, but oh, I'm gonna leave it, but I don't think we need it. Um, <laughs> I'm just too tired. <laughs> oh, I know why. No, okay, hold on. I didn't properly close the for loop. Okay, no. I try again. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Mm. Oh, it still won't say anything. Is it because of apps? Hmm. Okay, it was not that. So I'm gonna go back. It's just that I was assuming that we don't need like the for loop because 
Actually, I can tweak the number and then see. Ah, so we do need five. Okay, that's what I was... I should have come here before. So... Let me get this. Oh, now I see. Okay, they are overlap. Yeah. But um, it's growing each loop. It seems... On, it's growing on top of it. The yeah, other one. I think so. Yeah. Okay. That's my feeling. And probably it's because of this here, the float eye. Mm. Yes. Is it because of that? What if? What if? Oh. Sorry. Yeah, keep on. Okay, so no. okay. So I like that. Centered, but it'll be a different size. Mm. Interesting. I'm gonna put five in here. That's yeah. gonna make the little dot bigger. No, the whole thing yeah. makes it big. It, it just makes the whole thing bigger. Oh, so you split the circles with run in there, I guess. Yeah. Huh? Mm. That one okay. is cool too. And then you can multiply it to make them smaller, yeah. I assume, right? Yeah, I think so. Wait. Yeah, but no, you don't need to close it like that. Mm. Now they're thicker. Wait, what if you <gasps> put it here inside, like after run? You know. So. Oh right, duh. My bad. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It's smaller. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. One, two, three, four, five. Hold on. What if I put three? I want to see. If, uh, okay, what cool. Okay, okay. I think I'm starting to digest this for loop. In the beginning, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I'm not loving the for loop. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Uh, ooh, I like that. Now it's now we're making it random, and now I can put more. Yeah. It's sort of making it random. Yeah, I think so. But it's still. But only oh, one. It moves everything around as a whole. It doesn't move yeah. the individual circles around, but that's okay. Mm. That's so okay. then I like it when it was less, I guess. I feel like random should be more random. But... Mm. I guess it's because it's the same number always. What if I... Well, anyways, this is not bad. I'm very happy with this, and I really want to continue playing with it. Yeah. Well done. We figured yeah. out how to implement a for loop today. Yeah, exactly, because I, I haven't played at all with four loops in... No, and I traders. never imagined it would be so hard to make it work. Mm -hmm. Like, so just hard to understand mm -hmm. or feel it intuitively in shaders. Mm -hmm. I mean, I must have guessed that because I, I thought about doing it this week and then I was like, no, but... Mm -hmm. I'm glad that we did it together. Yeah, I need to explore a little bit more. Me too. Though I'm still not super convinced that um, it's nice to... Use. Better than fracked. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> As well, performance wise, I, I, I'm just still wondering. Like, I think uh, performance wise well, is not so great. Um, well, I know that they said that only was, one. Was saying about 3JS really surprised me because if it wasn't performant, like if it was so, I mean, maybe it's not the best performance, but if it was so like bad performant, why would um, Mr. Dube and everyone who maintains mm. the 3JS library True. use it? I don't know. It's a good question to ask um, Bruno, maybe, too. You might know. Mm. If you're out there, Bruno. I know you're not watching today, but... I didn't know clips were a thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we discovered it on our first stream, yeah, this year, because somebody clipped us. I didn't yeah. know either, so... <laughs> Think about it in Rain Marching, you need four loops. Yeah, yeah, probably. Somehow I don't know why I'm not like super like into, but I I like to do something it's as I said it's the it's other it's that it's I'm not familiar with, you know. Yeah, it's like a heavy mental load to implement it now, but once you find a good use for mm -hmm. it, you're gonna probably love it. It's just yeah, gonna, yeah. That's what I was cool. saying because every time I try something new that I'm not very familiar in the beginning, I'm like, uh, I don't know about this. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I'm not really sure. Then I have to try more and more, and then I'm like, okay. Then I change my mind. Yeah. <laughs> I feel it takes that. me a bit. So, 
but yeah cool i was very happy with what we especially the gradient applying mm -hmm. the gradient to just like that just blew my mind in no, this session do. honestly <laughs> like the great. rest was like <laughs> making a wobbly circle and i love the wobbly circle it feels so uh, like any anything that has the quality of like something natural breathing makes mm. me really happy. Yeah, yeah. You know, I have definitely that, like, human animal pulse thing. Yeah, true. Like breathing, right? Yeah. Mm. It reminds me a lot of um, Brownian noise. To be honest, I use that. In, I know you use it a lot. Mm -hmm. That's the one that and I, I can use it in Unity to make my things move around. And this, for some reason, reminds me of that. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's more smooth, I would say. Um, but it's yeah. yeah similar to that too. So I really really love it. So as well the grading color. So oh, the grading is so good. <laughs> I'm excited to keep poking at this. Yeah, me too. I want to put more randomness like the circles to figure that one out. Cause yeah. With the I like the background by white, but just I would love to add more circles around. Yeah. The yeah. Sketch. But great, it was a great session, so thank you. I'm gonna read it. Yeah, thank you. So we miss anything? Mm -hmm. I think we covered everything. We've got, we've oscillated. Yeah, there's a, a good solid bunch that stayed with us the whole time. So thank you all for watching. Yeah, thank you so much. Still nine, pe nine people, so that, that was great. Ooh, there's a bunch of like comments that I totally missed. <laughs> Probably when we were trying stuff, I think, so. Try oh, I'm gonna screen capture. I just see, saw your message, Mimi Teague. I'm screen capturing it to try it later about the rand float i times 0.1. Um, yes, cliffs are a thing. I didn't know either until I saw mm. a single clip. And Bruno was watching last week when you weren't here, Mario. Yeah. Um, or Mr. Doob, yeah. I don't know if Mr. Do watches. I don't think so. I, I think also think he so lives either. in California. It would be very late for him. Mm -hmm. um, does he live in California? I thought he was from... Sp okay. He's from Spain, right? Yeah, but he's from Spain, but I met him in California, so I always think ah, that he lives okay. there. Maybe he... Um, thank you, Mario, for coming. Thank you, Anamalo. I'm glad that you enjoyed. And thank you for sharing your shader toy. That was really fun. To yeah. See making stuff at the same time. And of course, big shout out to the Math and Magician. Mm-hmm. Thank you for all the lovely tips. Yeah, as always. thank you, thank you. You will see in some of my any day shaders probably as well Same. using the wiggly yeah. function, <laughs> and Definitely I will tag you. I will tag you because this was a great founding. Like I have many ideas now to do shader mm -hmm. art with him <laughs> to explore. Uh, cool. Like even to apply to a square or something um, would be yeah. interesting too. <gasps> like just tweaking that function. Square? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just another geometry. We could try that the really next time. All the things. That's going to be my next series. Yeah, maybe we could try that the next session as well. Like, yeah. My goodness, yes. Ooh, I wonder if we could make a, a wiggly grid. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like when Ooh. thinking about square, I mean, I have no other idea of how to make a square mm -hmm. that wiggly. is not too complicated per se, um, yeah. that uh, making a small grid and then well, in the I edge. Have a function like the circle function but for mm -hmm. a square oh okay cool. it's not too long no it's not too long oh, it's okay. like one line more than circle df um so that could be something to think okay. about yeah. but also i'm really into a wiggly grid mm. yeah because it's kind of close to what i sent you this morning before we, we ah <laughs> we, true, you know, true 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 yes 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 um, mm. yeah can yeah, I add that? It. No, I'm not on the. I'm not on the. Oh, I, maybe I can find the Twitch now and add it. I found this this amazing guy on Twitter. I'm gonna add this and then we're gonna go. I think because it's yeah, really yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm getting hungry. Minded. Oh, okay. I'm logged in as curiously minded. Where's the? Where's the chat? How do I get to the chat on desktop? Um, you have to click on the video. That's what you told me earlier. So I click on the video and then you see the chat. On on desktop, yeah, on yeah. my app, yeah. Oh, I see. It was it was shrunk. Um, you can apply it to anything that is based on distance and functions. The mechanics is more or less the same. Yes, yes. Mm. Awesome. Yeah, okay, so I, I will this, try this mimetic. I will try to apply to other stuff. <laughs> this is the. Let me turn the sound off. Of this this is the um tweet tweet that I sent to 
the week did this morning, and I was like, oh, this is so fun. We have to figure out how to make that. Um, wiggly things are the best. Mm, but cool. Anyway. Um, yeah, thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll put up a, a replay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, We're recording. Probably tomorrow, before the end of the weekend, I think. Yeah. We never announced the other one, probably. No, yeah. I know. I realized that this morning. We <laughs> yeah. <didn't> <laughs> but maybe we will send a reminder this time on Twitter. So, but yeah. But there's now there's always a replay. So thank you so much to everybody for, for coming that. today. Be with us. Have a good week. Yeah. Have a good week, everybody. Enjoy the weekend as well. Chill. Do whatever you do <laughs> in your Get weekend. Outside. Uh, stretch, go for a walk, some sports out. if you can somehow. Life. Take care <laughs> of yourself. Be kind to yourself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let me let me look for my OBS now to turn this. Oh, here we are. Also, yes, go to sleep. Give yourself give yourself the time to sleep. Yeah, that's true. For the people that was tuning in with us and it was like 5 a.m., go back to bed. Yeah. <laughs> Or take a nap later, I guess. So, although I did see a TikTok the other day that said um, that the idea that humans need eight hours of sleep is a byproduct of capitalism and the system mm. that forces us to go to work for a certain amount of time mm. every day, and that actually, way back in the day, uh, we just like regular animals would just be awake and then sleep when we were tired and then be awake again. But that that didn't work for the system that we currently exist in. So they force us to. That's why we have to sleep train babies. Could be, could be. But I also so, believe that every person is different and some people cool. don't need too much sleep. Yeah. Because through my life, I've met people that sometimes they don't need like the five hours and they're really good, like energized yeah. enough. And other people need really more. And, and that yeah. blows my mind when I meet people that don't sleep much and they achieve a lot in their day. Like they're just energized. And yeah, but I feel like you're also meeting them at a period of their life and that adrenal, uh, their adrenals will not hold that rate of existence for long i don't know i used to be like that i used to get six five hours of sleep but and go 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 and drink tons of coffee and just be like crazy ah, like, okay hyper all the time <laughs> no it's no good my brain at some point got so far ahead of me that i was like wait i need to like catch up <laughs> so i stopped stopped doing that um drank less coffee and slept more and it was very helpful code made a lot more sense after that oh drink a matcha yeah i love, I matcha. love matcha yeah, so me, too. me too. I try to drink that more during the day and just, just one small coffee a day. So. Yeah. Right. Anyways, on <laughs> <laughs> we can keep <laughs> talking and, and talking. Our to keeping your mind and body healthy and yeah. balanced. Uh, what was the name of it? Which one? I need to do that Yoga Nidra. Oh, oh yeah, Yoga Nidra. Like the, there's an app on in the App Store called Insight Timer um, that is really great and has a lot of um let me type it in the chat insight timer it's there's like a, a paid version but you don't need to, to pay you can just go into the app and uh search yoga nidra and there'll be a bunch of different ones that come up but you can also just you look up yoga nidra on youtube and you'll find you just have to find a voice that you like a voice and an accent and a cadence that you like and basically they'll be like you now feel your right hand and your left toe <laughs> and then you have to like bring your awareness to those places it's such a trip because it takes a lot of concentration but at the same time it's really relaxing because you can't think of anything else when you're trying to just feel one teeny tiny part of your body yeah it is totally like a kind of meditation it's like a meditation mm -hmm. without thinking it's all about perceiving instead of thinking so you're not like focusing on your breath you're not you're not saying a mantra um you're really just like they'll be like okay so bring your awareness and your attention to your belly button no they never say that but they'll be like your left ear and then your right ear and then they go down up and down your body and then you're so relaxed at the end and then do you they, go back to your day and your do brain they make noises like, by the way do they make noises with some um instruments like sometimes like some of my favorite plates? ones have this mm. like cello recording in the background and it's so nice sometimes they have like it depends like how crazy you want to go there are some binaural beat ones that are supposed to take you on like an ancestral voyage those ones are a little intense for me but i do like the um the more grounding ones but that's also because i'm floaty to begin with i don't need to float 
I don't need anyone to like help me float. I'm always floating. Ah, okay. Because yeah. it, it does sound like meditation. I was doing some meditation in May last year and they would uh, put this sound. They, they call it clang therapy in German, mm. which I think the English translation would be cling, I guess. Clang? I Interesting. Don't know. Is that and like a sound bath? Yeah, oh, they they use that? they use this like kind of glasses and a thing mm. that and also these uh, circles um, yeah. that do yeah yeah so we know? call that in English that's a sound bath a sound healing ah, okay so probably it's that and then it was half an hour that they will play that and talk like tell right. it like relax close your eyes your hand exactly what you were saying Actually, like feel like your hands, so. that is one of my favorite things to do because you know your body is like 90% water or mm. whatever right mm. so if you're lying on the floor while they do the sound bath they're mm. basically like your frequency starts your your water vibrates at the same frequency as the vibrations of the whatever they're banging or mm. making the singing bowl it's so nice I would always fall asleep honestly in this session and when they would wake us up I would be so sleepy that I, I remember mm -hmm. like some of the times that I was just too in like really sleeping deep I would just go back home and then um i search clank therapy in spotify and found a playlist and, going, <laughs> and i would just put it on and then yeah. com continue sleeping <laughs> but apparently your body doesn't stop vibrating when it's over it's still like everything's still kind of just like shaken up for for like a significant few hours afterwards so you can totally mm. perpetuate it mm. i walked home from mine and i was like vibrating i was like what is happening <laughs> i need to get home and lie down it's crazy yeah so. i like it so now i like to put this kind of music sometimes when i cannot sleep i just put in spotify this clank therapy oh, yeah. and then oh, i fall asleep <laughs> right away with sounds sound bath guys sound bath yeah Heal sound bath slash clang therapy if you're german i don't know if clang takes a k oh it's with k clang k therapy. that's fine <laughs> you guys yeah. can google all of that stuff and get your <laughs> like your relaxation kind mm. of mindset yeah yeah cool all right all right <laughs> yeah now we say <laughs> goodbye really <laughs> we're gonna sign off for real this time guys um everyone's still watching that's crazy but uh, yeah. yeah so enjoy all of that feel free to let us know how it all goes and you guys can if you want i'm gonna put it in one last time curiously curious how do we spell this curiously minded oh, put creation the hashtag. creation Curiously minded creation. That's what we agreed on, right? Yeah, and actually, I'm gonna put one more link before we go since we're okay. talking about it. Um, if you make anything and you feel like sharing it and you want us to find it, use that. Yes, use the hashtag. We'll be happy to. It's, like, it's such a long hashtag. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to. Well, no, I've already put it out into the world. It is what it is. Exactly. I don't think now you you <laughs> Too can late go. To turn back. You can go back. <laughs> I was trying to see if I find this because I had it. Oh, like songs, right? Where is it? I wanted to share the playlist um, of this thing. Oh, oh, Spotify! I'm the worst. I don't know how to use it. I thought I had saved it. I don't use Spotify anymore, so I can't find it for you. I use I. I'm like one of those weird oh, outliers. Here I it use is. Title. <laughs> I found it. Hey. Can I copy share? Yeah, share. It'll copy give you a link. A link. link. Okay, here it is. So if somebody is interested in like this mm. kind of music. Get so. some of those earbud headphones so that you don't hear anything else. And then you yeah. just like lie down. Ooh, you know what yeah. makes it even better? If you get if you buy anything for yourself this year, buy an eye pillow. Eye pillow? Like the, One. Yeah. An eye pillow. Oh, okay, okay. A little bit heavy. Okay. Just the like pressure. On, it's not a mask. It's like a mm -hmm. pillow. Mm -hmm. And if you Google it on Amazon or something mm -hmm. that Jeff Bezos doesn't have his hands in, preferably, um, you can get it and put it on your eyes. And just like the pressure and the darkness relaxes you even more. So if you've got that yeah. and the headphones in, you're going to be yeah. floating. Interesting. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. So I guess now okay. we can. <laughs> okay. Say Bye, everybody. <laughs>